And that's when I whipped it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben, you and your harassment lawsuits, they're great. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the table. It's been a heck of a week. Uh, Grant and I are back from AX. <laughs> Had a good time out there meeting a lot of lovely people. Yes. Uh, heard the one shot went well last week. I enjoyed it. I had lots of fun with, uh, with Brian and Stefan. Excellent. We, we reached the bad end. Yep. Oh, you Which got is it. great. No, no, that's good. Because <laughs> if we ever have to go back to it again, there's so much such dumb shit I could do next time. <laughs> great. Perfect. <laughs> but we're back in the world of Kelpie, correct? <sighs> yes. Yes. So uh, we're here. We're dealing with a giant. Yes. Where, very, very. Where last we left our heroes. <laughs> yeah. When last we left our heroes, we had just uh, gotten off the island with the ash drakes and we had sailed forward into the path of a giant figured yes. after all the vampire sh chicanery that we were heading towards like safer waters perhaps or like you know like i was like okay there was our combat segment now we're going to go into like the 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 chatting up the town segment nope <laughs> nope wait climbed the uh, crow's nest does, <laughs> with does a this giant have an exclamation point above his head perhaps <laughs> yeah, he is the yeah. quest yeah, Ooh, maybe, maybe. Mm. I, we can't really see above the cloud line, unfortunately. <laughs> well, Wake is ready to jump onto that beard and start climbing if shit gets bad. <laughs> well, you saw the cloud line, and then a face came out of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we just can't see the top of its head. Nope, you can't see the back of its head. So, you guys were off to Wright, which is a port town just before Ibercal, yeah, which the, is a yeah, neutral port. To the north. Yep. Closer to the continent. You were pretty much going to a gas station for the ocean at this point. <laughs> cool. But unfortunately, you kind of got blindsided by a 16-wheeler. All right. <laughs> it's going the wrong way. Nope. <laughs> he doesn't understand the lanes of the ocean. So last we left our heroes, their, be their ship has just been lifted up out of the water by two giant nubby fingers covered in barnacles. Good God. The giant is still looking at you guys. He's kind of like peering down at the ship like a spyglass. He's not turning it. He just lifted it up. He kind of looks to see everyone else. So if I remember correctly, it was Onslow. It was you. I'm on was, the crow's nest. It was yeah. Pliskin. And it was who else was on the deck of the ship? At uh, that Eloy point? was, but he fell down the stairs and he yep. stopped playing his music. Yes. yes. Which made I, the creature angry. And you were on. I, I think I was on the deck. Also. Okay. So you're out there too. Yes. All right. So. I need you two to roll me a dexterity saving throw. 21. Uh, that would be a 24. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you watch as a giant fingernail now starts coming down upon the ship. It's going straight for Onslow. Look out, Onslow! Also sees his fucking life flash before his eyes. <laughs> he I'm gonna be the best gator man ever! Old young Cletus. <laughs> he was so scared of Grammy and... <laughs> he was so skinny and so not full of life, and then one day his pappy said, go get a job as a real gator, and then he ate all the humans. And then there he is! The biggest, fattest boy ever! And now here's him about to get crushed by a giant finger. How far away? The finger from... stops oh, good. right in front of him. You're look you're looking at what looks like a giant slab of marble is right in front of his snout. I was gonna say, because Wake is like ready to throw the damn spear. I don't know if it, they would it do stops. anything. Oh but... no, you're you're now looking at like the dude's knuckle. It's now faced with you. You're just seeing a mountain of wrinkles. The shadows of the Colossus is just crawling through my head here. So it stops right in front of Onslow and gently kind of like tweaks, almost like like he's shoving him out of the way. He's just like, Onslow, I, I think he wants you to move. I'm gonna roll real quick to see if Onslow rolls a wisdom check to not be fucking paralyzed with fear. The finger pushes him and he just topples over and rolls. <laughs> <laughs> the, this, this dude has like a fucking thousand yard stare. The finger then, the thumb now comes into play and picks up one of the manta rays and pulls it up. Kind of like that scene from Death Stranding where you see the dude get eaten by the giant monster. That's what the manta ray is at this point. I can't imagine these are very sustainable for something this size. It's like he's he's trying to like just push everyone else out of the way to get at the to get at the manta rays. Maybe that's just how good they taste. 
Have I been uh, able to make my way back up the stairs? Oh yeah, point? you're you're now seeing what's happening. Okay, I'm I'm going to cast a minor illusion to replicate the music that I was playing earlier that seemed to have him calm down. That lasts one minute. While that's going, I'm gonna dash down below decks as quickly as I can within that minute to try and hunt up uh, Red or Risf and get them up here. Also, uh, quick thought. He's able to see our sails, right? Yes. Does that mean he has to make his wisdom save against Eloy's trap? Uh, the trap only uh, is only active when we're docked. Okay. It, it, yeah. It undoes itself if it moves more than ten feet, so it can't be used while gotcha, we're actively gotcha. sailing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Wasn't sure how it worked. Yeah. No. Yep. That's fine. So yeah. yeah. No. You have. It, I believe it was uh, Risf, and uh, Risf was helping Golfer at that point, and they're just getting pushed back and forth. So unfortunately, there's Golfer and Risf getting tossed around inside the galley that you guys were in before. <laughs> Risf is trying to operate here, and he's not doing a really hot job at that. Golfer's just not cold. He doesn't look like he's dead. He's fine. He's just, like, on the floor, just like, ugh. Oh. Uh, noticing his interest in the, uh... The, manta the rays. Manta rays, thank you. I was gonna say lamp rays for some reason. Uh, I'm going to look on the on the deck for more. Oh, they're, like... like I'm, when, assu I'm assuming they're all over the place. When he lifted them up, like, he curled his fingers around, and that took a whole bunch of them with him. Oh, okay. So, like, your entire deck is just covered in these things. Okay. Uh, Walking around on the deck is actually considered a uh, difficult terrain because of all of them. Just these giant flappy bats just going. <laughs> it's clear that he's looking for these manta rays. Should we start like pushing them all to a central location to show that, hey, we're on your side, big buddy. If you want these manta rays, go for it. T uh, take them. How high up is the crow's nest from the deck? 120 feet. Okay. <gasps> Do you think it's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There's but... a storm going on! What? <laughs> yeah, no, you're not kidding, because as the as the uh, ship is getting pushed up, you're getting further into the clouds, and the more you're getting closer to the clouds, that storm's getting worse, mm. almost to the point where you can't hear anything but just raging wind. The rain is now turning into hail as you go up higher. Ow, ow, uh... ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Oh boy, this is becoming act of God territory. Uh, does anyone have a common giant dictionary? <laughs> <laughs> so that that is why I'm searching for Risf and Red to see if either of them have any magic that might be able to help us communicate with this thing. The only thing someone has is comprehend language, which is Red, but at the same time, it's not like... Even if she, you're, you can try, I'll say that. You can try, but... <laughs> would we, uh, is that a spell that lets us understand him, but we wouldn't be able to communicate? Yes. Ah, that's... Yep. Yeah. Well. It's a one-sided conversation at that point. Anything's better than nothing, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Ezra's just going to go with his plan of just trying to... The other manta rays on the deck, he's just going to start gathering them up and putting them where he picked up his last... <laughs> roll, roll athletics check to try and well, get these manta rays. They are, <laughs> they are about, like, Great Dane size. These are huge manta rays. Okay, I got a 15. 15? <laughs> Yeah, you're you're just trying to shove. Yeah, like one one's <laughs> just on. yeah, one's just like flapping all over the place on top of you, but you just like lift them up. No, <laughs> go that just way. Just go, just somewhere. You roll me an acrobatics check to remain on the crow's nest as the wind is picking up. Dex check. That's all right. Modified twenty. All right. Okay. Oh boy. You're, you're you're holding on as tight as you can. Like you you have a very good grasp of like where you are right now, but if you get further into the clouds, you're gonna fly the fuck off this ship. You gotta get either inside or off the crow's nest now. The mast is blowing against the wind so hard that you feel like you can just hear the whip crack of the sails hitting against the wind. That if that thing touched you with one subtle like little slap, that's a concussive blow. Alright, I am going to go ahead and climb on down, because if I jump, the wind will carry me. Uh-huh, that's a good call. <laughs> Athletics check. Eighteen. You hear the wood creak. You're actually hearing the... You're, you're feeling the mast bend with the wind oh, as you go down. It's very... <laughs> As hail is pelting you in the face as you go down. Ow. 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 
which is true. I need everyone to roll me a con save as you finally reach deck. And there's Onslow just like, you watch as he like just crawls past you. <laughs> 14. Five. <laughs> Three. Ooh. Hey, I wasn't the worst. <laughs> when I said 14, I was pretty sure I would be like the lower end. Okay. Uh, there are, ow, there are ow, feats that can ow. improve my con checks. I have not had a chance to take them yet. <laughs> Every... Uh, uh, Wake and Eloy are taking seven points of damage as they get pelted in the head with ice. It's getting bigger and bigger. They're about the size of Onslow's fist at this point. Isn't Eloy below deck? He just went up oh, top. Okay. He he grabbed Red to come up top. She's taking damage so as well. She got, yeah. Red, come look at this. <laughs> uh, Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I hate the cold. At, at this point, observing how high we've gotten, I'm just gonna just gonna pull my scroll of Featherfall and my scroll of Water Breathing out of my pack. Just just have them ready. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> just just in case. All right. So Red is not going outside, but however, she is going to cast com uh, Comprehend Language. Since unfortunately, but that means that it's not mass. So the only people within the vicinity to hear that would be you and Red. Okay. Great. Well. <laughs> Eloy, do you think you can do me a favor? I don't know if I can do anything, but I'll try. Okay. Can you make an illusion of these manta rays just to hold, like, as many as you can swimming away from us? We're in the air, Captain. <laughs> yeah, you're... <laughs> Maybe you, he'll gently you, set us do down. You, do you wish to look over the side <laughs> with a perception check? I don't like Yell to... and grow really long legs. <laughs> I don't like to say this normally, but this is a situation where I'm fucked. <laughs> Would you like okay, to roll a perception fair check? Enough, maybe not. I perceive... Oh, wow. Nat 20 on my perception. Hey. <laughs> We're going to die. <laughs> no, no, no. The You actually look over. The giant is making extra care that the ship does not break. Huh. You're actually seeing, like... He's gingerly trying to hold the so hold the sides, but because of his mass, he has no determination of how velocity comes into play at this. Beyond that, he's gingerly just trying to pluck something that's a manta ray out. If he didn't care about the ship, he could have easily destroyed it by now. But he's he is still lifting you up, and you're getting dangerously close to those clouds. <laughs> I mean, I could jab his finger, but I don't think that'll do much. No, I don't want us to jab him. <laughs> I think his calluses are thicker than my spear. You watch as his fingers go down to grab another one. There is a barnacle bigger than half the ship on his knuckle. Uh, how do barnacles grow that big? That's like a <laughs> volcano. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna minor illusion to just make the sound of of my own voice as loud as I can. Act Hi, I'm Eloy. We're friendly. He looks at the manta ray he has in his fingers. Just awestruck by it. He's like squinting at the manta ray. I don't think, I don't think. He's... That's, that's fine. We can help get you more. Is there anything else you would like from us? Tell him down here checking on the ship. Checking his throat. Yeah, he's, he's patting his throat, like checking to make sure like the voice, he's still hearing it. He looks down. I'm gonna roll me a persuasion check right. with disadvantage due to the wind. And size, honestly. First one was so much better. Uh, 11. I'm going to throw this out there. You do still have the ram's horn, so you can make your voice even louder. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, you could blow into it. I don't know about saying a voice. Oh, you said it uh, does oh, wait, voice did I, I, thaumaturgy. That's right. That's right. I apologize. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> we have not done this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out. The giant, you now watch as the giant's one blind eye actually lurches down and looks down upon you. I don't know that'll do. Hi. Can we help you? Its mouth opens up with grinding rocks. Uh. You, again, you, you look inside its mouth. Some of its teeth is made of ships. Like ships are just lodged into its gums. It fucking lets out a bellowing sound. It tries to parse words at you. No one's able to understand it except for you two, but I need everyone here to roll me a con say that you don't go fucking deaf from this. Oh, my ear flaps instantly slam down. Uh, 
that's not as bad. 17. Okay. Nine. Seven. Hey, that's what I got on the die. Hey. <laughs> All right, well, Wake is fine. Them ear flaps saved the day. Uh, Everyone right, else now I'm just I'm opening up wide and loud just to make sure I can pick up everything. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> yep. You, everyone now has an instant migraine as your entire physical being rumbles. And as soon as that bellowing stops, you just hear you hear a giant bleep. Yep, you have now, like, tendonitis like crazy. Stimulated. <laughs> <laughs> My ears on flap. Yep, you guys are now deaf. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so basically, he's like, <laughs> No, it, it, it just, you just, like, it just constantly feels like there's a foghorn going off in your head and you cannot stop the sound. Okay, I, I can, I'm pretty sure I'm not hearing anything anymore, but it's, are we going to die? <laughs> Hello? I'm right here! You can't what? Hear oh my god. Uh, is its beard still off the side of the ship? Yep. Alright, you have one more action before you enter the clouds. Oh my god. Am I this dumb? You can always roll a dice to find out. Is Wake this dumb? Fucking is. <laughs> I'm going to try to jump and grab onto the beard if it's like within reach of the ship. I'm going to offer you the offer you this once. Okay. <laughs> being this one no, being nice. Being nice. I'm going to offer you offer you this roll. Okay. Roll a perception check to see how okay. far of a jump you need to make. Uh, perception. Sorry, is that a 13 or anything? That's a 13 plus. Duh, 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 duh. Sorry, it's wisdom based, right? 16. You can jump onto his finger. You cannot jump onto his beard. You will surely just fly off into the wind. Mm, that'd probably be bad. All right, climb in, climb in one of the fingers that's holding onto the boat. <laughs> Roll an acrobatics check with disadvantage because of the raging wind. All right. As soon as you lift your feet off the deck. I'm going to roll a perception just to see if I'm looking around if I notice him doing this. Uh, well, you can see him doing it. Okay. Acrobatics disadvantage is 18. All right. Might want a rope or something to tether you to the ship in case you fall. Already got one. <laughs> <laughs> well, with a wind condition of a natural 20. <laughs> oh. I'm just going to throw this out there. Most people just make a DC and then have you try to beat it, but okay. <laughs> I'll just get hit by natural 20 wins. <laughs> hey, man, wins can Rolling change. for nature. I get it. It's not actually the wind. It's because of his ability. Oh, artificial. Okay, okay. It's artificial wind made by him because he is right. a storm, storm giant. giant. Gotcha. Fair enough. You guys watch as Wake disappears into the clouds. Oh, shit! Okay, my first instinct <laughs> upon this happening... <laughs> Would be to throw my spear to connect me to the ship. Roll a dexterity with disadvantage. Okie dokie. Uh, is this like an attack roll dexterity or just dexterity check? Uh, dexterity check. I would, I'll allow it to be an attack. Okay. If you're allowing it to be an attack, then that is a modified 20. You feel like you connected to something, but now <laughs> just sound, just sound, vision, everything's just all gray and bluster. All right. That's this for is better than nothing. This is, this is for everyone else. Whatever you guys are going to do to secure yourselves onto the ship, do it now as everything is entering the clouds and there is now no noise on Earth you can hear, no visibility <laughs> whatsoever. The fucking Earth itself is pushing you off this ship. What do you do? I am running below deck. <laughs> and I'm just going to tie myself down to the nearest, like, just... You get to the stairs before you finally reach the clouds. What okay. do you do? I'm going to grab my grappling hook and just chunk sink it into the deck uh, into the deck boards as hard as I can and tie the rope around my waist. You get to just a singular knot before you reach the clouds. Oh! 
<laughs> He's holding his spear fl kite. flapping in the wind. The, ro the rope on me is taut, right? Like, <laughs> yes. Okay, so as long as that's taut, I know that I have something grappled onto. I don't know what it is, but I got something. All right. So I need everyone to roll me <laughs> and an acrobatics check with disadvantage as your entire world is now in a giant typhoon. That was a 20, so it's got to be worse than that one. I can't get much worse than a natural one. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, uh, 19. 19? Yeah. 8. For some reason, the wind is keeping you aloft. You're still holding on to something, but you are just being whipped around ragdoll style Whoa. all over the place. Whoa. You have no sight. You have no hearing. It's just... Constant gray, thundering, and nothing but wind around you. This could be worse! <laughs> Every but not much! Everyone else on the ship. Oh my gentle fuck. Everyone is rolling below 10. Yeah, okay. We all go together. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, real quick, why don't you talk to the crowd while I set something up special? <laughs> oh, fun. How are you guys doing? Hey. Were you doing good? Uh, this is a note. Uh, don't climb storm giants is what I've learned here today. Uh, so Perhaps I should have equipped some climbing gear. I do have it. I like that I went for maybe the most logical way to escape a, a storm is, and you know stuff. I went inside and tried to tie myself down and somehow managed to get, to get the <laughs> worst roll out of all of us. So somehow in this storm and moving, there's like some sort of vacuum that sucked you back <laughs> yeah. above deck. It's or like, something. oh god! <laughs> you know, I was really looking forward to a couple straight months of you know canon part of this campaign sessions. Now I'm looking forward to whatever the next campaign is next week. <laughs> yeah, that'd be yeah. great. <laughs> oh, you ain't dead. Don't worry. Yet. No one's dead. <laughs> the natural Tuesdays are coming out next week. <laughs> oh, is it Natural Tuesday again? <laughs> the Funky Tuesdays. <laughs> <sighs> With our Supernatural Wednesdays, you too can. Hold on, one more. All right. Nope. Our... It's all good. You know the fight in Final Fantasy VI where you fight all the piranhas while you're falling down the waterfall? Oh, yeah. I wonder if we're going to get something like this Ooh. happening now. Some zombie crews and the ships that he's that are on his teeth fell out when he <laughs> dropped us. Okay, so I need you three to roll me a quick initiative check. Oh wow, uh, that is almost well, my uh, twenty-three, seventeen, eight. Twenty-three, seventeen, eight. All right, we will start with Eloy first. Oh, what? okay. Reverse, Reverse initiative. Yep. Right. To everyone that to everyone you just are getting so thrashed around that there's nothing you can do to hold yourselves together. You're you think that this is completely the end as your entire world finally just blacks out of existence. The wind finally stops, but there's a thunderous boom and everyone hits something. You don't know how, mu how much time has passed. You don't know how long this has transpired. But Eloy, you start waking up as something is kind of tapping you on the face. Because of what everything that's been happens to you so far, it's kind of numbing. And then it's like someone's kind of like lightly tapping you on the face with like maybe a cloth or a piece of pillow. And then all of a sudden like the feeling's getting harder and harder until it finally it feels like someone's slapping you and it's with a leatherish kind of like claw. Grammy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your grandma! You hear Polyphy's voice, but your vision's kind of blurring in. Hi. What? Is this? I gotta tell you, by the way the rest of you all looked, or at least at least I pray they're all still alive. I am so happy that I could fly because you look like the shit just hit the fan. Uh, 
yeah, several shits just hit several fans. You wake up, you're in a lush forest as kookaburra birds are now chirping off in the background. You look up into the air, you're seeing, like, little frogs darting left and right off trees, and there's Polfi just, like, kind of, like, just above you trying to wake you up. How do you feel? Roll a con save. 18. Now I get the good saves. <laughs> I feel great. Never better. Uh... My fall must have just popped something in my back. You're still feeling a little... You're, well, it goes without saying, you're feeling frazzled. Your vision's still kicking in. Colors are slowly coming back into formation. The sky's bright blue, by the way. There's just... You can look through the canopy. Like, it's not like a really lush forest, but enough that there's, like, little jungle frogs, a couple of, like, vines sloon back and forth. You're sitting in brush. It looks like, if you look around you, Polfi kind of, like, made, like, this little bedding area to make sure that, like, you weren't sleeping on, like, mulch or something, or you weren't drowning in mud. Everything's, everything's still attached to where it should be. No. Your pack is gone. All the parts of my body are attached to where they should be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, the good news is, is that you're alive. The bad, the possibly bad news is you're the first and only one I found alive. The slightly better news is I did a little bit of reconnaissance, kind of, I don't know how long we've been here, but I, I know that we're still near right. It's the archipelago still. And I may have seen our, uh, may have seen your ship, but I haven't found anyone else. All right. Well, we we can hope that whoever was still in the ship is still in the ship. I guess that's a good direction to go first. Well, lucky for you, I always keep a little bit of a spare in case something bad were to happen. She hands you a knife. It's no flute. <laughs> <laughs> How do I play? But it'll do. <laughs> How do I play this? <laughs> Well, uh, to be honest, uh, I'll be a little straight with you. I kind of wanted to see if there were some few extra bits and bobs that you guys wouldn't mind me losing, especially this. She holds up the Mimic Scabbard. It didn't have a sword, so I, I figured it might be nice to oh, get no, rid of Kevin and sell. fell off my belt. That, did you find that before or after all of that? After? She like kind of shrinks down, just like biting, biting the bottom of her bill. Ap before? Okay. All right. No, that's actually that's. Sorry, I said after. I meant before. Okay, before. All right. That's that is a good sign, actually. That is usually attached to wake. If you found that after, but not wake, I would be very, I would be even more very worried. No, like I said, you're the first one. I I did kind of see that in his room, and I was like, why would he need a sword? He used. I I've seen the guy. He uses a spear in his fist, and also what scabbard doesn't have. A sword in it. That's silly. Yeah, he tends to eat swords what get put in him. That's a mimic boy. Ke boy, wakes the one who keeps company with the mimic boys. I is it Kevin? You watch as a mouth forms. <laughs> <laughs> she like lets go of the sword. Did I get that right? Did I remember right? I'm very sorry. Truths. You got him. I'm a mimic. That's me. Yeah, that's that's you, right. You want to roll intelligence to figure to remember what he does. I remember feeding him swords, or maybe it's just metal gives truths. Let's. Uh, yep. Well, remember the last thing he ate was a mithril sword, so he a he has fiery a fiery mithril. Yeah, sword. Yeah, fiery mithril sword. So he's got a bunch of truths in him he can give you. That's right. Hmm. That is the creepiest thing I ever saw, and I'm kind of sad I didn't get away with this scot free to sell it back at Needle Cliffs. Did we ever introduce you to Grammy? I've seen her. She keeps giving me all these weird little stares each time I was sitting up on the deck. Okay, that's not the creepiest thing you ever saw. Are you, Kevin? No, man, have you seen her food? It's <laughs> fucking weird. It's <laughs> fucking weird! <laughs> all right. Is... Hmm. Okay, we get we get questions. We, we get a f uh, well, yeah. You get a few. Qu you have a you have. I'm gonna give you. Let me roll a one d four. 
I'm going to grant you... Because Wake's probably four used questions. a few of them. All right. We got to make these count, because once they're gone, unless we can find something else to feed them, that's that. Well, I like I said, I we are a little bit inland. I did see the ocean. All right. Hmm. And you said you saw you saw the ship. I saw what looked like a ship. I don't know if it was ours because I found you and then stopped looking for anything else. Is what she saw the Yeldon, Kevin? All right, I say we save our other three and just go with that for now. Okay, well, it's it's heading over this way. She like looks at you like, well, can you at least stand? Can't right. save one more time. All right, fifteen. Fifteen. A little crunchy, a little disoriented. You're popping in some places. <laughs> yeah, but with a nice crack of the neck, you're able to readjust yourself. You get a little nauseous as you stand up back to your feet, but you're pretty much good to walk. You seem to walk away with this without relatively any damage. Just the fact that you lost all your gear. You, you know that feeling after you spend a night on the hard ground and your, your, your spine wants to crack a lot? I no, because I sleep in beds. I got two spines to feel that. That's rough, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Point point the way. Let's try and make our way back to the yield. And All right, both of you. I'm going to need I'm going to roll this as well. Uh survival check. All right. 9. 9. Okay. 18. With her sense of direction, she's able to find out way better than you are. You're still waking up to the world. Right. Then she's the one that what saw it. Yep. All right. Ezra. <clears throat> Roll a con save. Right out of the gate, huh? <laughs> Five. Okay, well... Starting with wake. <laughs> no, 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 no. You go no. back to bed. You're starting... You, you, you feel consciousness. You're waking up. Everything's still kind of dark. <sighs> you, you, you feel... You're, you're on some cold, hard ground, so you're not 100% sure... If you're, uh, like, where, where you are, but you probably might still be on the Elden at this point. Ah, uh, yes. The cold embrace of the grave. You, you start sitting up, and a sharp pain runs through your arm. It is completely broken. <laughs> okay. Death hasn't gotten me yet. Still feel that one. That <laughs> is your left arm. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> Good thing I'm you, immensely oh. talented and ambidextrous. <sighs> With, uh, you look up. And you start hearing little chittering voices off in the distance. You look around you. You look like you're in some kind of, like, wooded area. There is wood here. It looks like a piece of a ship. But then there's lots of greenery and vegetation kind of peeking in through the portholes. <sighs> Wonders! Sound off! This is your captain speaking! <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> it. There's there's so many of us, but I just want to make sure there's more out there. Are you gonna do anything else? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to try and stand. All right, roll me another con save. Uh, b -b 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 14. Okay, you're able to stand up. You can lean on something. Wait, why are you leaning on something? You were standing in the middle of an entire area. The thing that you're leaning on looks like bars. You're in a cage. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, a night in prison wouldn't be the first time. Uh, I'm just going to look around, see if there's anything in my cell. Uh, in your cell, you do not find your, none of your items are on you. By none the way, of my items you have no yeah. items on you as of right now, unless you want to roll me a sleight of hand to try and have concealed something small enough. Something, if there's anything in your <laughs> nature's pocket, Grant. Yeah, if there's anything in your inventory that is the size of a dagger that you could conceal, roll me a sleight oh, of hand no. check. <laughs> One item in your entire inventory <laughs> that is the size of a dagger. 
<laughs> Try to. Th- um. Uh, okay, the size of a dagger, you say? Yep. Uh, the ball bearings. <laughs> close. I'm going to see if my little bag of glass beans is still on me. Because <laughs> I, I keep that secured and Slide safe because I don't want those falling somewhere. Uh, 18. 18? Nope, they're still there. All right. You you feel something jingle inside the uh, inside of your sleeve All right, where your broken <laughs> arm is, and it slowly comes out. The nightmare beans haven't shattered somewhere and <laughs> caused trouble, so uh, we got that. Rip Scaffy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scaffy, on the other hand, Lord knows where he might be right now. But he's he's got a mind of his own. Kind of. <laughs> He has to follow my orders, but he, you know, he seems pretty self-sufficient. I guess we just yell, "Scaffy, come to me!" Yeah. Everywhere, eventually yeah. it'll happen. Yeah, someday Maybe. you'll have you to don't follow know. order. Who knows? I suppose. So uh, you look around. You roll me an investigation check. Um, uh, six. Six. Getting plenty of bad rolls right here. This is what I get for forgetting that a fan gave me a new set of dice while we were at Anime Expo, and mm. I left it in my suitcase back at my apartment. Wah. All right. Uh, you look around you. It looks like there's a bunch of broken pieces of ships, like a lot of broken in cargo. Like, this looks like someone just scavenged a whole bunch of shipwreck stuff. Uh, what are you looking for? Play your sandbook. I'm just going to look something up while Grant does his scene. Go for it. Oh, okay. Uh, you're, you're looking at a scavenged ship, uh, it, it looks like you're underneath it, so you look outside, you can see that there's, like, vegetation, what looks like a jungle is outside, there are small little frogs that kind of just, like, sit, or, like, this whole entire area is covered in frogs. Little, frogs? little tiny tree frogs. Okay. Um, what kind of, like, ground am I on? Like, it, like, in this cage, like, is it still, like, wood and dirt and grass on the ground? Is it- You're in a wood- you're in a wooden cage. Uh, the ground you're underneath is a platform. It's a wooden platform. Okay, it's all, I'm sorry. I'm in a platform. All right. Darn. Um, I'm going to see if I can find like any sort of like lock or like like the latch me- mechanism for this cage, if there's any, or if this is just something that fell on me. This is something that fell on you. It fell on me. All you right. see no lock mechanism. You just can. You can feel. You can like shake it and trying to push it. It's hard, but with that broken arm, that's, that's gonna be even going, a bigger yeah. strain. Well, okay. I'm assuming I have captors or something or someone somewhere nearby. You, you got me. What can I? Uh, what do you? What do you want? There's a bigger frog sitting next to you, next to your cage. Like it's a big, like dog, si- like like maybe even like a really large cat-sized frog that's like laying down on its stomach, and it's looking at you. It looks like a it looks like a bullet frog, like a little tree frog. Let me guess. You're the one who threw me in here or something. It stands up on its hind legs and pulls out a knife. Oh, (laughs) jeez! Okay, okay, okay. Easy, easy. I'm I'm in the cage. I can't do anything to you. What do you? What you want? You want you want money? I had I have a bunch on the ship. Wherever you took me from. (laughs) Okay. Okay. It kind of just like laughs at you maniacally when you say the word money, and then just like lowers its head back down and assumes frog position. Have you have you seen any uh, others like in my crew? Any uh like a four four legged guy or a blue dude? Or... Like 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 a big alligator or uh, a little 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 guy who's like half bronze and half like black. Roll persuasion. Anything. With disadvantage, because you have no idea what the fuck this thing is or what it's doing. Oh, of course, on the disadvantage roll, I get a nat 20. Um, you said persuasion? Yep. Uh, 17. Okay, well, I rolled a four for this boy. Yeah. So... But my He's fr- pointing outside to the woods. My friends are out there? I can promise to bring them back right here if you let me go out. I can, I'm bigger and my, my voice projects much louder! He takes the dagger and stabs you in the broken arm. God, what the hell? I'm trying to help you. You're fine. (laughs) 
<laughs> as my tech, as Brian's looking at me like you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the frog, like, it stabs you for three points of damage, but then you don't feel the pain when it when the blade enters your body. Your body completely, like, that entire side of your body just becomes numb. You can't feel it. Oh, great. Perfect. He points over to the crates. He, like, looks, he looks at your pants and just points at your pockets. Oh, there's... There's nothing in him anymore. You already got me. He's pointing over to the crates. Oh, my my stuff is in those crates? Can I can I have it back? Then why would you tell me? <laughs> You're not a very good captor. You know you you, you could have kept that card in your deck and not told me about it. <laughs> Now that I know that's there, the second I get out of here, you're really going to regret kinda, letting me know that you have my stuff. He, like, waddles himself over to the crate. He, like, shows you your stuff. That's amazing that you found everything except for something <laughs> very important, I say, now revealing the small bag that I have had <laughs> strapped to my arm. Like, you watch as his eyes dilate, like... Oh, gee, it's a shame that you got... Almost everything. He comes at you with his knife. I'm in the back of the cell now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe if we were a little bit nicer, we might have had a little taste of the, the most delicious candy <laughs> I've ever discovered. So delicious, in fact, that I only have five pieces left. But you've already got your haul, I guess, so I'll just keep this. <laughs> kind of just waddles off upstairs. <laughs> well, great. There goes my one means of escape. <sighs> you know your stuff's in the corner now. Yes. All right. I'm going to try and see if there are any, uh, like, st structural problems with this cage, if there's anything that I can maybe that would be an investigation find a way check. through. Uh, modified 20. Modified 20? Uh... The mechanism of this is that it's a pulley system that's up to the top. You can pull this up, but with that broken arm, there's no it's way you can hoist anywhere. it. not Like, you're going to need some very, very sturdy and very good athletics checks to hoist this thing up. Okay. Although, you do see that there is a sticky oil-like substance in the footsteps where the little toad dude was walking around. Hmm. It's right next to your cage. You actually can pick it up. Just can... Get you it. could reach for it. All right, well, I... He leaves a little trail of mucus wherever he walks. I'm trying to think of how this can serve me. Um, I... I scoop up some of this goopy oil, and I, uh... Survival check. Uh, 22. I forgot that I have a pretty good bonus on survival. You're able to get a really sizable chunk of it that... With, with a piece of cloth, you're able to scoop it up. Mm -hmm. Like, you can feel the bottom of it absorb into the cloth, but the top part of it you can use for something. So you have okay. a nice handful of this stuff. All right. You hear sizzling coming from it. Oh. I, I take the cloth and basically try to, like, soak one of the bars in it. Like, just kind of just really, really rub it on there. Nice and good. Okay. You watch as the wood actually starts to rot away. Hey, there we go. All right. <sighs> Got the broken armor. Let's try this. I try and kick at the rotted wood. Roll in athletics with disadvantage. Nine. It gives a nice little, like, shove outward, but your foot wasn't enough to just kick it out. <sighs> Okay, then. It's time for the shoulder check. The ca the captain's shoulder, I call it. <laughs> With an old right shoulder, I'm just going to charge right in there. Athletic. With a running start, can I switch this to be a Running deck? start? No, because this so cage, cage is, is five feet. Okay, fine. Athletics with disadvantage. Great. Four. <laughs> Hip! You, you run your, your broken <laughs> arm into the other <laughs> side of the cage. Ah! 
Okay. Bad idea. Let's... Is there any more of that goopy stuff around? Oh, yeah. There's another... There's, like, another footprint you have before you can't reach anything else. All right. Then I'm going to scoop some more Survival. and... Survival. Uh, Eleven. Eleven? Yes. Not enough as last time. Okay. But or you still have enough to at least apply it to one piece of the wood. All right. Is just getting rid of this one bar that I've made somewhat rotted going to be enough for me, for me to slip out, or is that still not enough space? With a acrobatics check, you might. Okay. All right, well, if that's the case, then I'm just going to keep lathering up this one bar with more and more of this sizzle juice. All right. There is now a gaping hole All in right. the wood. Let's see if I can just kind of slip my way, sidle my way out of this. Well, you what? You break it. The top piece is still there. The bottom piece falls over. Okay. The bottom was not rooted into the ground. Again, the entire top of this mm. is being pushed down. Yeah. So, so now I've just got this bar that is, this like. You wooden. have a bar that's open. Yes. Okay. Um. So, so I can't like slide out from where that bar was. Is that what you're... That's going to be an athletic... An a, that's an acrobatics. A acrobatics check with disadvantage. However, you can now use the stick if you use want to, okay. to get the yeah. other goop. Gotcha. Okay. Or... Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to basically you wrap... Know, yeah, you now have a stick. Yeah. I'm, go I'm going to get that rag or what cloth that I've been using to, to scoop this stick, the, this goopy stuff up. Yep. Just kind of... Wrap that around the end of the stick so I can just basically use it as a big old wooden Q-tip. Okay, that's going to need a... That. It's going to need that, and also oh, a survival boop, boop, boop. and a... Hmm. Survival and medicine check. All right. Well, my survival's not great. Ten. Okay. Medicine. Nat 20. Woo! You got the entire cloth like, wrapped in it. So much so, I'm gonna roll a severity check real quick. All right. A hmm. drenching. Boop, 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 boop. Sorry, hold on. Wrong dice. Oh my shit. Well, I rolled low enough underneath this. You now have a spear that does 1d6 acid damage. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Uh, all right, let's, uh, I've got this now, but I still want to get out of here. I don't want to use any of this if I don't have to, so I'm going to at least attempt to get out, just slide out with the hole I've made. You said that would be an acrobatics? With disadvantage, With yes. disadvantage? Okay. All right. Uh, 13. 13? If you get rid of the spear, you can make it throw. Couldn't I just set it on the ground? Oh yeah, you could. Yeah, no, through? that's what I mean. Pick it up later. Yeah, you can pick it up later. <laughs> okay, then yeah. Then but that's with what that broken do. arm, remember, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be a pain in the balls. All right. I set the, sp I gingerly set the spear down, and slip through. <laughs> All right, you're able to slip through long enough until you turn around, and there are now four more of those little frog boys coming down the stairs. Oh, okay. All right. Well, <sighs> we're gonna have to make do with what we got. Uh, I start heading for that crate. You hide in the crate. Roll stealth. 17. Like, all four of them. Like, there's three dudes. Like, one of them's blue, one of them's yellow, one of them's red. And the green one who's bigger and fatter and, like, wearing a headdress made out of human skulls. Okay. Like, kind of, like, gingerly strokes his fat chin. And they all, like, just hop out. So they've they've sp they've spotted me or hopped out of the no they they okay the the four the three of them ran away the big fat one is now just kind of like moseying his way over to the over to the uh, crate okay not not your crate but yeah, like the the, 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 the cage I just observe since actually sleight of hand going to try and open this crate that I'm at okay very quietly. With a 25. 
You open it to your heart's content. Your pack oh, is revealed to you. Perfect. You can grab one item with no with no notification. Okay. I pull out my grapple chain gun. <laughs> because at first I was going to get the crossbow, but I was like, nope, then I don't get any ammunition. All right, you now have your <laughs> grapple crossbow. Perfect. Roll another stealth check. You got it. Uh, 16. Does not notice you. All right. I take aim at this ugly frog. (laughs) Roll. Trap me, will you? (laughs) (laughs) Shit. Uh, Just add all your modifiers. See what happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay. So it's... Your proficiency yeah, plus proficiency your Yeah, proficiency plus decks. my dex. Okay. Yep. So, 15. Minus four because of your broken arm. What? 11. 11? Yeah. He is all fat, so you could grab this boy wherever the fuck you want. <laughs> Great. You take aim, and your shot hits true. Right awesome. in his dumb frog face. <laughs> How much damage? I was gonna say we never wrote down damage for the grapple chain because I don't think it was originally like an offensive weapon. Yeah, (laughs) when I purchased it. Well, it's latched onto his face. What do you do? (laughs) He's like scrambling to get it off him. I mean, you also get your sneak attack damage. Oh, you're right. Oh no, he's considered grappled. (laughs) Uh, clink back. Wait, which would happen? Would he get pulled towards the fat no, frog? No, the fat or... frog is getting pulled towards him right now at blinding breakneck <laughs> speed. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now you have this, like, four-foot-tall lard boy of a frog coming at you at 60 miles <laughs> an hour. <laughs> Jesus. That is real fast. That's good. Uh, well, hopefully the impact of this is, uh, since I'm from peeking out from behind the crate, I'm hoping he's going to hit that first and, and not me. Roll a uh, dexterity save. Uh, 12. I feel like half of my rolls... I rolled a one. You hear him hit all the other crates and they all fall on top of him? (laughs) You don't hear anything else. All the crates fall over. You hear crunch, a bunch of crates fall over, and nothing else. Okay, I go to investigate this frog. You move the crate out of the way? Yes. He's been impaled by a bunch of the other crew's weapons. Awesome. All right, now. <laughs> you see Wake Spear in there, and he's his face is firmly implanted in it. Okay, now it's time for my boldest move yet. <laughs> I remove this frog's crown and place it on my head. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as you said the green one with the the human skull cap stayed back, I will assert my dominance. T pose on the frogs. Ezra, king of the frogs. (laughs) Give me your human skull crown. I assume his authority (laughs) and his wife. (laughs) See, now you just have to start giving yourself titles. Yeah, no, you you now have four other multiple human skulls on top of your own skull in a crown. (laughs) Skull crown. (laughs) Um... What do you want to... Uh, you have the crown. Uh, you you have the crown. You can put it on. You can put it on. It looks like they have articles of clothing still on them. Like, like they were all strapped together with pieces of clothing. Yeah, I, I, I will put it on for sure. Okay. Because uh, I don't want to leave this stuff, but now I have a new idea. <laughs> and let's just see what kind of tribe these frogs are. <laughs> Okay, well, the Frog King is dead. <laughs> All hail, All hail the, new the new Frog, frog King. <laughs> Which is precisely my idea. I pick up Wake's spear and wield it as if it's like a scepter, and I just stand and wait for anyone to enter in this room. 
In comes the yellow boy from before. <laughs> he holds up his knife. I slam the scepter spear down and point and like motion my head towards the corpse of his king. <laughs> Roll intimidation. <laughs> Damn it, not my strongest one and a bad roll. Mm. Nine. Come on, I've got the skull, but that's got to count for something. No, it does, because this little idiot rolled a two. Yeah! (laughs) You just look at the frog, look at the other frog. He, like, points at you like, did you do this? I take, I do the the Captain Morgan pose as I put one (laughs) foot on his corpse. (laughs) <laughs> and just stand aloft. <laughs> he waddles on up to you, hands you his knife. <laughs> he motions to the head of the king and motions to your new crown. Well, far be it from me, the new king, to break tradition. <laughs> uh, is it a survival check to, to uh, properly remove this guy's head? Yep. Perfect. All right. Hey, and your new king gets 21. All hail the new king. <laughs> as there's now a blubberous fat frog head now on top Just of the skull. Just leaking juices yep. down the skull. Yep. It's going to need to keep dabbing at that with a sponge. You you see you see the little frog like like let out a giant croak, his throat puffs up and all the other frogs come down. There's like a score of maybe 20 to 30 of them. <laughs> as they all come down, they're like, and they all stand at attention. <laughs> you have a little legion. <laughs> yes. Now, my frog friends, can you understand me? Do we have a, can you communicate? I am you see king. One, you see one frog with a lazy eye. Yep. Hey, attention here. All, <laughs> all subjects. I am King Captain Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> and I need you uh, <laughs> Yes, hail me. And I need you <laughs> to help me find my friends who may be lost in these woods. If you find others like me, bring them here, but do not do it by force. You see you see one of the uh one of the tinier frogs with big big old eyes, like it looks like a little child frog walks on up to you. <laughs> throws up a human head. <laughs> Is it one I recognize? No. Okay. No, no more, no more. My first rule as new king, no more of the head slicey thing. Not, not a fan. Roll sleight of hand to try and motion that to them. (laughs) 15. Do they understand you? They do not understand. They're all just standing at attention still. How many of them are there? 20 to 30. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> in my belongings, which I assume I could have found. You can by grab now. all your yeah, stuff. Yeah. You have, you essentially have everyone from the cruise yeah, okay. stuff in I this, fig- these I crates. figured as much. Uh, I have a, uh, a notebook and a pen, so I'm going to start ripping off pages <laughs> and just handing them to the frogs where I have written Ezra like, is... Dra- <laughs> drawing pictures of... <laughs> well, I'm just going to write... Ezra is safe. Follow this frog to find him. <laughs> and I'm just giving each of my legion this note and just saying, go. <laughs> they all like just like slap their weapons to the floor and charge out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And now we wait. I say. <laughs> wait. Roll a con save. Hey, I'm not dead. Uh, 11. You are hanging upside down from a strangler tree. Do you know what a strangler tree is? I have a feeling I'm about to find out. I need you to roll me a nature check because it's an actual tree in real live people land. Well, that's a nat 20. Ooh. I know everything about this tree. I'm its biggest fan! (laughs) (laughs) You know, uh, remember the scene from... uh, uh, Jungle Book when they go to King Lou's castle and it's the trees that encompass most of like the the buildings and the roots are wrapped around in such erratic ways. Right. That's a strangler tree. Okay. 
You are hanging from a loose root that is holding you over a cliff upside down. Uh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I started like trying to pull at the rope that was on my chest. It's gone. Huh? Well, the ro I'm guessing the rope got frayed at some point. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, do you pat yourself down to see if you find anything? Yes. <laughs> Roll a... You know what? No. First things first, I'm grabbing the vine that's around my ankle and pulling myself up. It's around your legs right now. Yeah. So roll I'm, me. I'm rolling up and grabbing that and climbing. Roll me a. Roll me a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Interesting. Uh. Pull up my stats again. Uh, Nineteen. Yeah, you grab it. You're fine. You're able. You're able to lift yourself up. You felt like there's a part of the tree that didn't have as much integrity as the other piece did. You felt the weight way more stronger on that end that you grabbed that end and made your, and climbed yourself over the edge. Okay. You are now on the. You're now sitting on the branch. Like it's thick enough that you could actually sit on it, and there's no problem. You're now looking over a small ravine that looks like maybe a 200 foot drop into a river. I might have been okay, but I'm glad I didn't. Okay. So yeah, I, I take the time to kind of like pat myself down. Roll sleight of hand with a disadvantage. Sleight of hand with disadvantage. My hands are very slight today. Uh, with disadvantage, God damn it, why don't I just keep this up top? With disadvantage, that is a nine. Okay. You can have one solitary item that is a size of a dagger or smaller in your inventory is now in your possession. Uh, dagger or smaller. Uh, does this include any like items I was equipped with wearing? Like, are those taken from me as well, or? Yes. Okay. Uh, I will keep. You are essentially naked as a part of your, like, your armor. Your clothing, you have that. Whatever you wore last, you have. Okay. So this is essentially any item in your inventory that is a dagger or smaller, one thing you can have. Then I will have kept my... I will have kept the uh, skeleton key that I have. <coughs> okay. You have a skeleton key. That is the only thing in your possession that was still in your kilt. Got that still, I guess. That's neat. Shit. I say <laughs> looking down at the rope that's tied to me with no spear at the end of it. Shit, fucking goddamn giant! Get back here, I'll punch you! And you might feel it! You scream into the sky. There's a kookaburra just sitting right there looking at you. Sup? <laughs> that's about right. <sighs> I'm going to take in my surroundings. Is that perception. a perception? Um, 19 plus 3, 22. All right. Uh, directly straight in front of you is the ravine. On the other side is just a little bit more jungle. Uh, I'm pretty high up in this place, right? Like, or is it like I'm just by a cliff? From where you got onto the branch, you're now closer to the base of the tree. If you stop, if you step down from here, it's going to be a drop, but you're going to land on actual like footing. Okay. You're not going to fall into the cliff. Gotcha. Right. Behind that tree, though, you see the ocean. It's like a small little patch of the ocean that is in a small circular archipelago-like shape of land. All right, well, that's a good place to start as any, I guess. I start heading that way through the jungle. You also see oh. another body hanging off one of the other branches. Oh, do I recognize this body? Roll me a 1d4. 1d4. Oh, I see what you're doing. I got a 4. No. Okay. No. Who did I find? Oh. <laughs> 2, 3, 4. Even more random. We're randoming the randomizer. You get to choose one. I get to choose one after rolling a 4. All right. As you look Ooh, over, you appear to find the body of... Golfer. I found Golfer. <laughs> you found, found the, the body... corpse of Golfer. <laughs> you found the body of Golfer hanging 
uh, in the same position you are, wrapped around one of the strangler tree uh, roots, is hanging upside down with his hands kind of like lurched over. He looks like he's out cold. All right. Uh, I'm going to climb up that and try to get him down. How will you get him down? Uh, he, you said he's up higher, right? Like he's he's up like in he's the like tree. maybe like five or ten feet higher than you on another different branch. All right. Well, I will scale the tree to get to the branch that he's by. All right. And then I'll try to like pull him up from that branch, as long as that branch athletics supports check. weight. Athletics check is a twenty-three. Okay. Uh. You're now on the you're now on the branch because of how stout and short he is. You're able to hoist him up with no problem and just have him over your over your uh, shoulder now. You're, oh God, you're fucking heavy. Ugh. All right, so now you're on the you're I'm gonna say 80 feet up in the air on this tree with Golfer on your shoulder. All right, that should be. How is falling damage calculated again? It's like something per ten feet. Yeah, it's a one d. It's I believe it's one d six per ten feet. No, one d ten per ten feet. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna uh, like quickly just kind of like run an inventory on him, see if he had any items on him that were not lost. All right. Want me to roll and investigate? I guess. Yes, please. Great. Uh, that is a 10. <laughs> I guess it's all right. You check his gear. Uh, looks like there's a lot of things that have been opened on his uh, pouch. Uh, a lot of the stuff that he has uh, lugging around with him is gone. Most of the bottles that are latched onto him are gone. His goggles are gone. Uh, his overcoat is gone. Uh, you do find one thing, though. You find a small emblem that's inside one of the pouches. It's kind of like laced in it, and it's kind of like held in by a small hidden compartment that keeps it latched inside the pouch. Okay. Is there anything significant about this emblem? That would be an investig... That would be a uh, knowledge History. religion check. Oh, religion. Ooh la la. Uh, huh, not bad. 16? 16? All right. Uh, you never knew that Golfer was a very religious man to Usha. Huh. And a... Usha is the mother of darkness. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the, that's the one we keep running into with all these vampires loving it. <laughs> huh. I guess I'll uh, oh, no. tuck that little nugget away for later. I flap yeah. it back into his pocket. <laughs> All right, excuse me. Yeah, I was looking uh, for anything that I could use to like grapple the tree, but nah, that's not you just case. find that though. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try to shimmy my way down to the branch that we were on previously. Roll athletics. All right. Holding on to this boy. Uh, fourteen. Oh boy. Uh, uh, crap. Uh. Are you walking down it fine? Okay. But you hear. Excuse me, could you please be more careful? You're stepping on me roots. Sorry, sir. I didn't take any hit. I don't think I took any hit. Uh, are, are no, you... man, it's me. There's a face in the tree looking at you. It's me. The Hi. Big, the strangler tree. How's it going? Thanks for catching me, by the way. Uh, yeah, no problem. It's kind of weird that there's a bunch of people who fell through the sky. I figured that that ain't normal. It's really not, I'll be honest. Uh, n neither is this for me. Um, don't oh, well, I, I figured that. Usually the people around here are the Tibbets. Ah, the Tibbets, yeah. I, I never heard of them. Oh, they're little frog friends. Little frog fellas. They friendly? If you're a Tibbet. If you're a Tibbet, okay. So I'll be on, my, I'll be on the lookout when I see any of them. Uh, is there an easier way to get down that won't, like, you know, disturb you, or... Oh, yeah, man, hold on a second. Oh, okay. You see one of the roots grab you from the chest and pull you what? down onto the floor. Do you see a giant walk by here? Like, a oh, real big guy. Real big guy. Bigger than you. Yeah, way, way bigger. Like, bigger than you. There's someone bigger than me. Oh, yeah. This guy's huge. 
I'm guessing since you're saying Oh, you mean the moving mountain? Yes, the moving mountain. Oh, yeah, yeah. He comes around here like every 500 years. He walked that way. Ah, that way. Cool. They walk okay. around They walk around the entire continent at least like four times. There's another one that usually comes about. Oh, great. So there's more. Yeah, probably uh, won't show up for another 500 years. Well, that's good, at least. Uh, so we went that way? I just point in the direction. I guess. I, 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 I saw him. He was there. He kind of put down some weird little human thing off into the distance there. Like, that's... you see, like, one of the strangler, like, you see, like, one of the roots kind of, like, just, like, motion out towards the water. If you roll a perception check. Ooh, uh, 22. He's pointing at the Yeldon top, uh, uh, flipped over on its side on the shore. Oh, Yeldon probably doesn't like that. All right, uh, I should probably go heading that way. All right, man. Uh, well, th thank you. Yeah, no problem. Just, just be careful. Them frogs will get you. Oh, I'll get them first. All right. I start walking through the woods. Let's go, golfer. Yeah. Actually, hold on. I'm going to set him down and try to, like, wake him up. How will you wake him up? With a medical check. I'm just going to, like, slap, slap, slap. Like, just try to listen for his heartbeat. See if he's alive. Not bad. 17 medicine. I mean, I know the last time we saw him, we were jabbing sticks in his mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he That's wasn't right. in a good way before this. He was tripping pretty hard right before this all went down. I forgot. I rolled a nat one. He's dead. Golfer's dead? Yeah. Holy shit. Ooh. Well, not for long. Wait, I guess he has to make some saves or something, or is he just dead dead? You don't know how long you've been sitting there in that tree. I don't. Oh, fuck. Um, shit, I did not take anything that heals me. I am going to... Man, with my 17 medical. Okay, that's <laughs> just me learning this fact. I'm going to attempt to revive his heart with another medical roll. Wake is going to try to do CPR. Roll it. All right. That is a 15. His body's cold to the touch. He ain't moving. Wake up, you son of a bitch! He's dead. Oh, my God. Wake just kind of sits there not knowing what to do. Ugh. That medical check you ran? Yeah. There's a giant, moldy-looking gash near his chest. It looks like something sliced him open and took something out. The heart's gone. Oh, well, yeah, that's probably you why need I didn't that. hear the beat. Oh, my God. He yelled, no, oh, man. I know we never really got along, but holy shit. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, I never asked your name, Mr. Uh, Tree. I'm the Strangler Tree. Nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> do you uh, do you have any like spare bark or something that I can uh, wrap my friend here with, or leaves or something? Oh yeah, man. Hold on a second. Like one of the thing, one of the roots come down, goes to the other root. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. That's kind of. Form like a little cocoon around Golfer, like tying off little strands of it. Wake's just sitting there reflecting on the fact that every time he finds a family, they die. <laughs> I'll try to do right by you. I'm sorry if. I don't know. Just silently drags him and just starts towing it off with him towards the Elden. I'm going to flip these over and reveal who could have died. Well, I'm glad it was... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were glad it was... Ooh, oh, wow. wow. A little. Some, some it, big... It, it could have been some Strung, big Onslow, or Risp. Holy shit. Well, okay. Yeah, so Wake's just kind of, like, dragging him through the sand, just... You lug the corpse back over... You're seeing that this forest is completely encapsulated with nothing but tiny little frogs. Wake's not even really paying attention. Yeah, no, that's fair. He's, that, just, kinda I mean, like, you... he's just kinda staring off glassy-eyed. I mean, he's like trying to look around to see if he like sees anybody else, but... Uh, well, you're getting over towards the ship. You see Grammy Pliskin and 
Hmm. Roll a 1d4. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you see Grammy, yeah, Pliskin, put... Red, all dead. <laughs> I got the I got a four again. Alright. And You're putting this three. evil on me! <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. <laughs> what? You found his body. He rolled the one that killed him. <laughs> I guess. That's who you find. I find an additional person who is Onslow. Onslow's there, too. He's not dead, right? No, he's, he's alive. Fine. They're all okay. alive. You're seeing, you see them all. They're all trying to figure out what the fuck they're going to do to try and flip this ship over. Hey, you guys okay? Yeah, we... Well, there's Grammy just sitting there. <laughs> there's Onslow. Well, ain't you aside for sore eyes. We thought you was dead. No, no I'm, I'm fine. Have you seen anybody else around here? Nah, what you see is what you get, son. You haven't seen the captain or Eloy. Okay, uh, is Nedra still inside? We're the only ones. Well, we're not the only ones now. I set down Gulfer's body bag, for left lack of better words. I found Gulfer. Somebody harvested his heart. Everyone turns pale at that. Onslow kind of just, like, looks down at the body, takes his hat off and puts it to his chest. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting allergies again. Jesus. Uh, like, Pliskin kind of just, like, sits there and gives, like, a sailor salute. Grammy kind of just, like, rubs her fingers, her hands together. Like, her frown is, like, kind of genuine at this point. We can, uh... We can mourn later. We gotta find whoever else we can for right now. As you say that, there's you hear a you hear a squawking. Hi, we see you guys. As there's Eloy, and there's uh, there's Eloy and Polyphy. Okay, good, good. They're they're here. Hi guys. Hey, have you seen uh, Nedra or Ezra or no, Red just, or just me and Polyphy? Is everything okay? Gulfer, he, uh, he didn't make it. You're looking at a wrapped up dead body of Gulfer. Oh hell. I don't know if there's anything that could be done. He, something cut him open. It, <laughs> it took his heart. I, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to ask Riss, but we gotta find him first. Pliskin kind of like leans down and looks over the body and looks at the cut. I heard stories about these once. I didn't know they were actually real. Small frogs, little frog people, tibbets. They're known for taking body parts and using them for ritualistic means, harvesting goods and whatnot. Anyone who actually gets in touch with them, they kind of do a body black market trade. Well, if Captain Ezra is still out there, and if Nedra and Risf and Skrung and Red, if they're still out there, we gotta go find them. Eloy, are you with me? Yeah. Right. I need to I need to search the ship, see if I can find any of my musical instruments. Alright. We can't find it. Like you just like Grammy like looks to you. It's all gone. It's all gone, everything. My you my tools, my utensils. They took the secret ingredients! The bastards. If this is those frogs doing, then I think we'll have plenty of secret ingredients for tonight, Grammy. They even took my dog. Those bastards. I know! Grammy, the secret ingredient tonight is vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to go into that forest and I'm going to bring back the head of their leader. <laughs> I was going to say, meanwhile, I was just like, Shoo! I'm just drinking a bottle of wine from like, the fuck? you guys are great. Let me tell you. What Bile is this dwarf heart? Oh, it's so good. We're gonna it's, take... It tastes so fresh. My last crew, they didn't know how to take orders like you guys. None of you talk back. I've always been more of a land body myself. There's that lazy one. There's that lazy eye guy sitting there. 
<laughs> ah, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. We're taking a pause here for a second. After these messages, welcome back to the table. Golfer's dead. I'm still wrapping my head around that. All right. He just looks like he's got such a carefree smile on his token. So I uh, rolled a nat one. Yeah, no, it happens. I People, rolled a nat one. I just <laughs> People die when they're killed, okay? Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, sometimes so. it happens suddenly without warning. Mm -hmm. Ask me how I know. Yeah. yeah Shit. It's just, fuck. So, uh, Wake's basically just saying, like, you know, if you guys just wait here, if anybody else shows up, you know, keep them safe. We're, Eloy and I are going to go look for other people. Real, real quick, Yeldon? Yeah. Can you, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, can you spit me up a, a nail or anything made of iron that yeah, I can yeah, use? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a nail. Thank you, Yeldon. We're we're gonna try and we we got some missing crew members. Wake and I are gonna gonna go try and find them. When and we all get back here, we'll get you out of here. Yeah, we'll get you right side up and on the ocean just as soon as we can. Okay, buddy. Rest of you, rest of you guys, see if you can. Uh, I don't know. Get some of these tree down to try to get some leverage under the Yeldon, try to dig out from under him so that we can maybe, I don't know, get like some leverage and push him out a little easier. We'll figure something out, Captain. Uh, oh. oh, I've never. Oh, thanks. All right. Well, until it. Well, that that's what Pliskin looks to you. Well, you were the second in command, weren't you? That makes you the captain by all defaults unless Ezra's dead. Huh. I'll try not to let this go to my head. Meanwhile, I'm the king of these <laughs> jungles, and you will do <laughs> I don't, Actually, another question real quick. Does anybody have any wool clothing or any piece of wool on them? Grammy. I don't know. What's, what are my travel clothes rips made out of? Rips her shirt. Rips a piece of her shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Grammy. <laughs> her entire arm is gold, by the way. <laughs> the, from what <laughs> once was her wrist is now all the way up to her arm. Can she still move it? Oh, cool. <laughs> so, here's here's how it works. Wait, I don't have my flute or none of my instruments or none of what I what I use to make magic happen. Now, this is something I picked up at the Bard's College. That's how I taught myself how to make magic. It's not the only way to do it, but the other way to do it, you need something. Sp it's easier with music, because you can make any kind of sound. Right. To do it with materials, with stuff, <laughs> you got to have specific stuff for what you want to do. So I don't have all my spells is the practical upshot, but I got, I got quite a few. But if we can get any of my instruments back, that'd be a big help. Well, best case scenario, we can make you a drum out of the skull of a frog. Will that work? I like that idea. All right. I'm not technically part of this crew, but what do you want me to do? I mean, I can try to fly out and see if I could find someone, or I mean, if you if you can there, just like looking mortified at someone's dead right before her. I mean, if you can fly into the air and if you can see anybody out there that looks like they're part of our crew and try <laughs> to let them know where safety is, or I'll try that. Worst she case scenario, help them out of a bad situation. Like she like looks to you and just like nods like I'll try that. She, you watch as her wings puff up and then she flies up into the air. Maybe I misjudged her. I keep walking. Where are you guys walking off to? Um, I am going to. Uh, it's you and Eloy right now. Yes. Let's see. Uh, did I get a good view of this island from up higher? Uh, unfortunately, no. Not really. All right, so I don't know like any landmarks or anything. But you Except do for know the tree, the tree I came from. You do, you do know that the strangler tree is alive. I know that tree's alive. Uh, well, they're probably all mostly alive, just that one's sentient. Yeah, that one's sentient. Uh, I'm going to just kind of... I know the kind of animal I'm looking for. I'm going to see if I can find tracks. Okay, uh, roll a survival check. Survival is a 24. 
Okay, you're looking for frogs. Don't worry, this forest has you fucking covered. It's completely filled to the burst with it. Yeah, but from what I get, I'm looking for large, angry, weapon-wielding frogs, so I'm looking for... Well, you don't find any weapon-wielding frogs. You do see that there are tracks of something big kind of moseying through some water. Like some muddy water. It looks like it, what could be a... Like, you see, like, giant, like, big old frogs, like... Probably one's about the size of a bowling ball, just, like, sitting in the mud and, like, just groaning and, and chirping out. Uh, you do see, uh, you do see what looks like something walked through, because, like, the grass is kind of parted over. Almost like something took a rest there and then kept going. It's going south of where you came from, over towards where the ravine is. All right, I'll start heading that. I'll, I'll uh, motion to Eloy, and we'll start moving that way. Yep. I'm going to stealth from this point forward. Uh, stealth of a modified 20. I'll take his lead. Unfortunately, I only get a 9. Alrighty. Worst case scenario, you'll be bait. <laughs> there are frogs kind of just like sitting on your body as you walk. <laughs> Alright, maybe they'll help me blend in. <laughs> <laughs> Act of camo. Back to Ezra. <clears throat> There's now a throne resurrected in, in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> All hail the Excellent. new frog king. Excellent. Uh, all right. As two, uh, two, uh, two of your new knights kind of just like mosey on over with spears. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You may stand at ease, soldiers. It's fine. He holds up your piece of paper. <laughs> yes, I, I sent my legions throughout the land with a peaceful message of greetings. You t- holds up two fingers. You, you found two people? <laughs> Are they here? They're out there? Okay. Yes, bring them in. Yes. You watch as like a, a spit-roasted pig on two, uh, as two boys kind of just like walk in, tied up on there, still alive. They're kind of okay. struggling. Is Risp and Scrung tied up in leather as they're kind of just like... Kinky. <laughs> <laughs> fellas, fellas, please. Gently now, set them down. <laughs> One's poking his spear like at the ready. Hey, 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 hey! We don't, we don't, we don't. I, I point to the corpse of the old king that I assume is still nearby the box. Oh that, Jesus! That was what he did. That was his reign. We don't, we don't. None, none of this. No, no. Bad, bad. Uh, uh-uh. uh. Set him down. Set them ja- down gently. Yep, you set the you they uh they set wrist and scrung down on the floor. Right, I pull out my dagger and just kind of cut them loose from their bindings. Friends, you op- you open up the friends. you open scrung's mouth. Jesus, what is going on? I don't know how excitable these guys are. Right now they think I'm their king. Roll with it. <laughs> of course they probably do. You're wearing one on your head. Yeah, because I killed him. <laughs> Apparently they have this whole hierarchy where, uh, you know, the, the I, I'm assuming the previous leader... Do you not know what these are? I mean, they seem really bad, but uh, right now they're listening to me. They harvest organs in the black market! Oh, well, this is the second order of me. We're going to either put a stop to that or get some better prices. Okay. We you need see to... Risk kind of just like cowering. He's like... <laughs> hey, don't worry, buddy. I'm here for you, too. <laughs> I cut him down. Okay, so now they're just like standing there just like... Okay, what do we do now? You said you're right. leading the. What are we doing here? All right, all right, easy, easy, easy. Did you guys see anything when you were out there? E- any others? The Being ship? carried off by toads into a godforsaken, broken down ship in the middle of an island. All right, so that's what you woke up to seeing. I've only, I've only been in here. They, that, like I, I woke up in here and killed their king and have been yeah, ruling from this room. Yeah, and they had room. jars of body parts. As a couple of them start ushering in other pieces, one puts down a heart, one puts down a very familiar red tail, and one puts down a book with some blood tainted on it in jars. Okay, no, this is bad. N- uh, um, where did you uh, find these? No, no. And went that way? You know, they, he's trying, like, <laughs> roll an intelligence check to see if you can figure <laughs> yeah. out what he's saying. <laughs> Nat one. Natural wonders. <laughs> Look, I don't... They not- all went to the store, got a couple of beers, and got really crazy. <laughs> Let me roll. 
for Skrung. Skrung looks at him. I think he said that Nedra ran off into the woods. Oh, jeez. Okay. She's still got the sniffles. <laughs> I walk over to, like, one of the knights and just, like, motion towards his spear. Just ah, give, give, it, give it here. Give it to your king. Break it. <laughs> oh. No more of this. No. We are, we are nice. We, we, we greet with, like, I, I take, <laughs> I was going to say I, I take Skrug's hand, but he doesn't have one anymore. So I go over to her wrist and shake his hand. We are friendly. Friendly. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Nice to meet you. He, like, puts his, he puts his webbed, like, fucking sticky hand on Riff's face. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, close. You're getting there. I don't know what you're saying. He throws up. He throws up a giant beetle and hands it to Risp. I think we're. I think you're getting the idea. It's just uh, you know cultural. Uh, Risp kind of takes it. Cultural barriers and language and whatnot. No, oh, oh, Risp, 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 Risp. It tastes okay, I guess. That's okay. Skrung's just sitting there just like, oh, no, just, this day just got fucking worse. I'm just going to say be very careful because uh, whatever they secrete from their feet was good enough to rot wood on impact. So, you know, I don't know what this is going to do to your insides. You might have just swallowed some paint thinner or something. He, like, kind of, like, taps the, this, the center of his throat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was poison. No, he he like he was like halfway ready to swallow, but then he's just like, oh, oh okay. no, just no, no, spat it up, got just it. Bleh. Okay, Look, looking back at my frog soldiers, if you find more people like them, be I just like pat him on the head very gently. Nice, good friends. Don't fucking touch me, Ezra. As Skrung looks at you. Trying to save our lives here. I know, but you don't have to patronize me. <laughs> it's, the, it's the only way they'll learn. Like one of the other frogs kind of like looks over to Skrung. There you yeah. go. I hate this. I hate this so much. All right, and then I just point out, if you see them like, like that out there, bring them to me. Show, show them the note. Show them the letter. Paper. Roll persuasion. Uh, 18. They're just like, eh. All right. They all just wander out again. Phase two of my plan. Uh, I'm going to go over to the crates, rummage through, and see if I can find that, uh, that horn for the, uh, what was it? The, the ram's horn or something? Yeah. Yep. You find it. All right. You pretty much find everyone else's gear. Yeah. Okay. I never... Don't know if there's any sort of instructions to this or anything, but I guess I guess I can try it. Just take it up to my mouth and just try and just blow a big note out of it. <laughs> I mean, you blow a big note, it ex extends out. You two roll perception check. Because <laughs> while you guys might have known you can speak to it, uh, 15. I don't think I did. <laughs> 11. You guys hear a soft note off into the distance. Aww. Sound like a foghorn. Hark! <laughs> hmm. It's in the you hear Polify kind of like scream up from the sky. I think I saw him this. <laughs> she fall? Something grabbed her and pulled her to the earth. I'm gonna head in that direction. Same. Roll survival. Uh. Modified twenty. Fourteen. All right, well, you come upon, like, you start running in that direction. It's, you you kind of lost her for a little bit. But then you start hearing squawking, just like, No, what the? Get that out of my face! Stop it! You come across, uh, you look over to a clearing. There's Polyphy in a net as there's a bunch of frogs. Most of them with spears kind of, like, all around her. But there's one of them kind of just, like, pushing a piece of paper in her face. <laughs> All right. Um, how far away, like, are the frogs from us? Like, I'm you, still stealth. You're in the about bushes. fifty feet away from the frogs. Okay. Roll another stealth, the both of you. Uh, 
Stop it! Quit it! Please! Stop! 24. 19. To be fair, they're doing what I asked. <laughs> I mean, they, they do not notice you at all. Don't they're think just, I recommend they're still, So I can sneak in a little bit closer? Uh, you can tell that with another probably 20 feet, you will be out in open clearing. Are there any branches above them? Can I sneak through the trees? Perception. Uh, 13. Uh, no. It's clearing above them. How many frogs did you say? Uh, there are ten frogs right now. Okay. Alright, I just want to sneak up on one. Would I be well, able like to... I said, you have yeah. you have 20 feet of more cover, and then after that, it's another I... 30 feet of just clearing. Okay. So, so I'm going to sneak up to the, the very least the edge of what we have. Okay, you have that. Alright, so I'm within 30 feet. Um... So smacking her in the face with a note. Yeah. Like, there's a bunch of them actually holding the same note. They all, all of them have the same note. It's just the one of them's just kind of like, eh, 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 eh. Eloy, they don't seem to be attacking her, but I don't know what the hell's going on. You don't have any gum Arabic, do you? <laughs> I'm going to check to see if I know what that is. Got a 17 on intelligence. What Do I know what gum Arabic is? And would I know how to procure any? <laughs> Not here. Okay. <laughs> do I know what it is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, me neither as far as I know. It's just a word that I read in a book back at the Bard's College, but it's what I'd need to make us invisible. Hmm. Well. I... I will say this. Uh... What is around you is more of those strangler trees, and on them are, you know, like the world's largest flower, that giant thing with the thing that's supposed to be like a vile plume? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of those just, like, sprouting all over the place. Some of them are actually big enough that can provide cover. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to lean over to one of the trees. Hey, buddy, are, are you, uh, how are you doing? I'm just going to talk to the tree. Does it hey, respond? Man. <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? Oh, it's going all great. It's going it's great. It's the same uh, voice. Oh, you this you the same tree? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, could you do me a favor? Uh, I, I know I'm asking a lot lately. Hey, uh, kind of all. I'm, I'm, I'm not supposed to be interacting with these little folks. Oh, really? Uh, that's, well, that's part of my druid code. Oh shit! Nah, sorry. Um, I mean, saving you was kind of a big, big ask already. Well, th thanks. My mom was a a, a druid. Oh, like, that's I, neat. That's yeah, neat. it's really cool. Um, could she walk through coal? Could she walk through trees too? Uh, she could go through coral. Oh, that's kind of the same, I guess. I guess, yeah. It's just underwater. What the hell's coral? Uh, it's, it's like underwater trees, kind of. You're looking at Wake talking to a tree. And there, there's no face. It's just a tree. Do I hear the tree talking back or no. just Wake? No, just Wake. So you uh, wouldn't be able to help us out here? Like, I just need to thin their numbers a little or distract them or something. Just... Well, I mean, like I said, I'm not supposed to be... Helping things die, that that's bad. Well, I mean, you don't need to help them die. I just need them restrained. Like, you know, just grab them, like, oh, no, I'm being held by a massive tree. No, sorry, man, I can't do that. Oh, man, it's like giving them a hug, kind of. Motherfucker, I studied with Elder Jeb for five years. <laughs> <laughs> and he picks it up without trying the first day. <laughs> <laughs> Eloy tried so hard to be a druid when he was little, and he was bad at it. <laughs> All right, well, uh, oh, another idea. Would you be able to, like, just give me a boost? Just, like, toss me over there. I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, I just, guess. like, fling me. Yeah, All right, right. Well, hold, hold on a second. <laughs> you watch as a mushroom pops up out of the ground in front of him. Step on him, man. All right, let's do this. All right, you Eloy, step on it. be right back. I, ju I step on the mushroom. Roll an acrobatics with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, 17. As the mushroom lets out this rip-roaring, like, fart of a noise as it puffs <laughs> up and shoots you upward into the air. I'm gonna roll to see if the frogs notice. With a fucking three, they don't. Alright, then in that case, since they don't notice, I'm whispering, Dynamic entry! <laughs> as I'm just fucking drop-kicking one of them. Okay. Yep. You land down on one of the frogs. 
You step on him, Mario style. Kaboink! He hits the floor crushed. All the other frogs kind of just go... Wow, no loyalty at all around here. They hold up the paper. What does the paper say again? <laughs> exactly. Ez Ezra is safe. Follow this frog to find him. Is this some type of threat? <laughs> all, the other, all the other Keep frogs kind exactly of like do the same. The frog you stepped on. Did this frog that I stepped on have a spear? Yes. I'm grabbing it and murdering all of these frogs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you grab the know. spear. These guys you? are murderers too. Yes. Okay. Roll a con save. All right. Eh. Twelve. Your entire body turns numb as soon as you touch it. <laughs> like drunk kind of numb, or just numb? No, numb? like like you have no feeling in your body whatsoever. Numb. Then I have no feelings. Killing them. <laughs> you, are, <laughs> you are stuck in place. Oh. One of the other frogs just looks to you. Takes a net. I and you, you and Polifi are now being dragged away. In my mind, I'm killing all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Observing this, I attempt to follow with stealth. Roll. Oh, a good roll this session. You don't say. Uh, 22. <laughs> they notice. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't notice. But, the tree but one do. thing does. Hey, man. Yes. Yeah, it's me. Turn around. I turn around. You're looking at one of the. You're looking at one of the uh, strangler trees. Hi. How you doing? Holy shit! Five years with Herdmaster Jeb. Hi, I'm Eloy. Hey, I'm the strangler tree. As a face pops up. You have no idea how long I and hard I trained to be able to talk to trees, and I sucked at it. I mean, I'm. I can talk to you pretty easy through the trees. It's fine. You, you're doing it. You're doing it right, mate. Finally. <laughs> hey. What do you know about those frog boys? Oh, oh, them? Yeah, they, they, they're little critters that go in and start rooting around inside of you and take your pieces and sell them on the black market. Okay, that's not great. Yep, but it's unfortunate because if it wasn't for my druid code, I, I'd be stopping them. Does your druid code prevent you from letting me know if there's any way that I can stop them? No, nah, I'm, I'm, uh, you're not part of the druid code. You, you, you can go balls to the wall, man. All right. They have any, I don't know, weaknesses? Well, if you touch them, they make you, you make them stop moving for quite some time. That's how they get you. They kind of just touch you, and then you fall over, paralyze, and then boom, they start cutting away. Well, that's not great. Um, are there any antidotes to the to the poison, any any herbs, anything that might make me immune. Hmm. Well, there is a uh, there is a couple of berries around here that uh, I've seen a couple of critters eat them, and then when they eat them, they normally feel all kind of re regenerated. Regenerated. That's a name. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, he's a he, druid. He ain't educated, out, folk. Yeah. He ain't educated. Yeah. No. He's, there's he's, a there's a special berry around here. Said we don't. Re my my order calls them. It's weird. Y yig yig yiggies. We'll call them yiggies. You you eat one of them berries. He doesn't give it to you. He's oh. like he like points up one of his roots up to the top. It's a melon. It's a spiked melon. Hmm. You eat one of them. They they uh they give you all kinds of rejuvenation. They make they make you feel all kinds of strong like. I, I mean, I've seen people come around here try to come in from the come in from the water. They come here just to pick them, and then they stop making trade routes around here because of all them little frog fellas. Huh. All right, better than nothing. So the the melons like up in the branches? Yes. How fast are the frog guys moving away? Can I still they, see them? They're they're just taking a moderate pace. It's like, you know that feeling where like. 
you're walking a moderate pace and then someone opens a door for you and it's like, here you go, but you're like 50 feet away. Then it's like, then you just have to fucking start rushing. It's like, fuck you, you asshole. Why would you do this to me? I have to run now. Like you had that nice walking brisk pace. That's what they're doing. All right. Would you be able to hand that down to me, please? Well, I mean, like, I, I did enough saving your friend there and now he got himself captured. So I'm feeling a little tired from doing good deeds today for others who aren't part of the druid. I'll start doing some bad. Get back to neutral. Uh, all right. <laughs> I get that diplomacy bonus if I stay in neutral. So. I, Fallout 3. May I climb you? Yeah, man. I don't see why not. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not technically this tree. I'm, I'm all the trees. All right. <laughs> Filing that, that away for later. You watch as the tree turns around in place, and all of the all of the uh, branches are actually formed together to almost make like a sort of step, like a five five foot jump step. Neat. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I you seem like a nice guy. Never never seen one of you before. You you're all kinds of silly. You're you're like a you're like a deek deek and a person put together. Yeah, we live on a on a mountain a ways away. Not a whole lot of people have heard of us. You live on the giant there. thing that walked past here. No. If that's what I'm thinking, it is. No, that's how we got here. Oh, then you live on the female one. What? Well, she is female. Yeah, she's made of rock. Ah, that's where you came from. Okay, sorry you got misplaced. Here you go. Have fun. Okay, thank you. I. Athletics check. Trot up the stairs. Seven. Here I go. <laughs> oh, man, that's a shame. Yeah, all right. <laughs> try again. All right, try again. Much better. Seventeen. You get up to the tree. You're able to get up there just fine. You see that there are wooden catwalks up in the canopies. Like almost someone was connecting a bridge, a bridge path up in the top. Huh. There are small remnants of what look like broken houses inside the trees. All right. <clears throat> I, well, first things but first. You can, but you are, you are capable of reaching the berry. You are now 60 feet up in the air. Okay, first things first, I grab the melon berry. You grab it. Well, for the sake of for the sake of calling it, it's a yigberry. A yigberry. Okay. Yep. All right. I'll pop that off. I'm trying to keep an eye on the. Uh... When you grab it and you feel like the juice from the bleeding vine that, that you pulled it off from, it's this pale blue kind of like weird substance, almost like the same kind of texture as like the flesh over a cucumber seed. I. Just kind of like dab up a little bit of it with my fingers and sniff it. it smells foul as shit. Hmm. I peer off to where the uh, where the frog boys were headed. Can I can I still see them? Yep, they're still in sight. Okay. And these uh, these catwalks up here, you said they go the opposite direction. Okay. I was about to say you said there was a clearing, so I'm guessing they don't make a path. <clears> yeah. No. One. All right. I'm gonna first try and get back down to the ground to ground level. Okay. Uh, athletics check. Uh, 17. 17. Yeah, you make it down just fine. All right. I'm going to try and... So it's... You said it's like a... It, is it a melon or is it just the size of a melon? It's the size... It's the size of a cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like spiked like a Duran. Okay. Uh, but, like, you can, like, probably peel from the top. From where the vine is that you snapped, you can peel it away and it comes out in, like, small sections. Okay. So, all right, here we go. I pop a section in my mouth and start chewing. Take a bite. Yep. Um, Maybe this will be grandma's next secret ingredient. All right, you are now completely nullified of poison for the next 24 hours. Woo, nice. And you gain seven temporary hit points. <clears throat> all right. So, between... Your entire flesh now has a neon blue to it. 
Okay. You're watching as like light. the juice that you ate, it's kind of like going through the veins and making like a small light. All right. Well, that'll make the subtle approach more difficult. So I, looking off little to- Off to the distance, there's a small man in a hood with a little orange cat. Yes, the Smurfs are real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So how far away, roughly, are the uh, are the frog boys at this point? At this point, they have gained 60 feet ahead of you. 60 feet, okay. Um, all right, that's handy. Um, out of curiosity, how long does this poison last? With that roll you made? Which was a 12, which is above <laughs> average. Which is above average, yes, but no. <laughs> This, oh. this poison you feel is going to last. You don't know how long it's going to last. That's true. Unfortunately. All right. I'm going to attempt to to close the distance with the frogs uh, stealthily. Okay. Roll stealth. 16. You are now taken. Uh, you are walking up to a small little cliff. A uh, small little cliff side. Up in the top is a broken half of a ship. Uh, from the flag, if you roll an intelligence check. Worth a shot. You can roll as well, you just can't say anything. <laughs> What's a flag? Natural wonders. Natural <laughs> wonders. Uh, intelligence 16. That is a call ship. The flag is still up. <laughs> My teeth are just bared. One of the frogs looks at you. I'm going to eat you. It's it's the lazy eyed frog. <laughs> I'm gonna eat both of your eyes. Am I? I'm going to make <laughs> you. Throws a squirrel up on you. I'm going to make you watch. <laughs> Am I still close enough to one of these trees to talk to the strangler tree? Yep. Is there anything they're afraid of, the frog boys? Afraid of? Well, I mean, they have predators, I guess. Like anything in particular? Wildcats? Cougars? Me! <laughs> <laughs> they got alligators. Big old crocodile boys. That'll do. Okay, I'm going to attempt to stealthily uh, close to within 30 feet of the frogs. Roll stealth one more time. All right. Not Ooh. quite as good. Nine. Remember that kookaburra you saw from before? Uh. Well, you kind of kick it over. <laughs> all the frogs turn around and see you. All right. All of them turn around and see me. All of them in that platoon that was carrying Wake and Polyphy. Okay. <laughs> I am going to, with that bit of fleece, which is the material component, so I can do this even without my flute, I'm going to cast Minor Illusion and Illusion up... Uh, an Onslow behind them. And then go, holy crap, look at that! Roll Intimidation with advantage. Yay, advantage, 21. <laughs> with a disadvantage roll of a natural one. Nice. Yeah. You just watch as all of them puff up their throats. And they all, they're still taking Polfi and Wake as they run up the hill. With a natural one, they're still carrying us? Damn it. Shit. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just going to follow after them as fast as I can go. Wait a minute. The Onslo was behind them after they turned to him, meaning that they are up the hill. The Onslo is up the hill, yeah, isn't it? That's fair. That is you know true. What? Yeah. Let me roll something real quick. I apologize. They run back into the woods. <laughs> okay, I'm running after them. Roll me a con save. 13? It's, it's not much better. Uh, they're trying really hard to pull you, and they consider you dead weight and just drop you and take Polyphy into the woods. Oh, victory for Lake! <laughs> Run! Fear me! You're hearing this commotion outside. <laughs> <laughs> I I go over to where they dropped Wake and, and start taking another section of the, the Yigberry 
and try and slide it down his throat. Shove it in my teeth! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. It tastes like a cucumber. Ew! <laughs> and not the sea kind. Oh, my jaw can move. Yep. <laughs> you are now a bioluminescent blue as your feeling returns so to you. So what else is new? <laughs> <laughs> you gain 10 temporary hit points. Oh. You said I could hear this commotion? Yep. All right. You are now looking and seeing two oddly shaped Smurfs glowing off in the distance. Hello, down there. Are you also my subjects? <laughs> Do I recognize this voice? Oh, yeah. Person? No, you could see him pl plain as day walk walking out of the ship and looking down at you. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, do I see him wearing the yes. stupid... Your new king is talking there's, to there's you! They're scrung and, and wrist Oh, wait, with him. hold on a second. Is that Wake? <laughs> he's, he's always blue. <laughs> Wake, is that you? Yeah, I'll be right up. They all that's, that's amazing! Did my friends find you? Did they show you the notes? Hey, no time to talk. They took Polify that way. Let's uh, get them! Yeah, oh. I'm... I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm booking it right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're right safe! Him. <laughs> took Paul. Oh, no. <laughs> How long does it take to catch up to them? Bear in mind, I am faster than the average person. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, with them hopping around, kind of like thrashing Polify against shit as they're going. Bah, 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 bah. You catch up to them, no problem. You're right behind Polify. You son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm going for the lazy eyed motherfucker. I'm still holding that spear. <laughs> I'm stabbing his foot to the ground, like I'm jumping, like Achilles, full motion. Roll the hit. That's a, 20, uh, a 27 hit, sorry. That will hit. 28, because it's my spear. Uh, stabbing his foot to the ground for <laughs> uh, 10 damage. You take his whole leg off. Shoot. <laughs> Just topples over. It's not so fun to have your parts harvested, huh? I'm pulling out his lazy eye with my fingers. <laughs> Survival check, bitch. <laughs> Survival check of a 21. Do I get you have his eye? I am eating it in front of him. <laughs> I am going to eat his fucking eye. So he's watching. All right, roll con save. Good. Hey, I'm immune to poison. I know, I know. Okay. Still probably tastes foul. <laughs> oh, modified 20, though. Just swallow it down like a champion. Your eyes taste like shit! <laughs> I hope they weren't talking about Rufus with the lazy eye. I kind of like him. He seems like he's got a good spirit. Well, Gentle the moment soul. you did that, all of them stop in motion, turn around and look at you. Who next?! <laughs> Are they holding up their spears now? Right, I hold up the spear in an attack position. I'm I am in rage mode. This is like full on archer rampage. And there's fucking Polify just like, no, 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 get me out of here first. <laughs> Have I caught up by this point? Yes. You're now looking at a bunch of frogs ready to just tidal wave throw spears at him. Do uh, it! Have, do it! Have they have they dropped Polify? Kill me, you cowards! Yep. But she's in the splash zone of the fucking spears. Okay, I'm I minor illusion. I just made the flute. <laughs> I minor illusion, uh, another Onslow just standing atop Polify with his arms crossed in an intimidating manner. Roll intimidation. 17. <laughs> they all run off. Yeah, you better run. I, ru I, I continue to chase them as I cut the net like that Polify is in with the spear as I run by. Okay, well, yeah. now that they don't have a net to encumber them. Are you telling me they have a f faster than 40 movement speed on land? Shit. They're little frog boys. They kind of, like, jump into the canopy and start darting away. All right, that's fair enough. I'm going to... Uh, I mean, can, I can, I can I judge how fastly they're running? I mean, I, I know this is their home turf, so... Roll a <laughs> uh, perception check. Eh, 13. They have a they have a natural land speed of fifty. Wow. Nope, not catching that. But they can't go far. This island isn't that big. 
Rufus, what'd they do to your eye? <laughs> I spit in his eye socket. Oh. There's the leftovers. Oh. <laughs> Ezra, are you all right? Did they take any organs? Me? Yeah, like at this point, you mean Polify? He didn't follow him down, did you? No, I was I was staying in my. <laughs> I'm oh, staying it. Okay. Oh, I'll I'll, 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 dr I'll drag this half conscious motherfucker up. Yeah, to the I was like I was up like, to what? the castle. Like, I mean, while there's Polify still in the net. I cut her loose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I haven't seen that. I did. Free and safe. I do turn around to, to go back to. All right. You Ezra. start walking up. There's Ezra with a whole bunch. Uh, Ezra Scrung and uh and Riss surrounded by a bunch of all the other frog boys, just like standing at the ready. Ah, good. They're all in one place. I toss the I toss the near dead corpse of the other one towards them. Whoa. Rufus, what what happened? Wake. Didn't he show you the note? I'm safe. Can I see? Uh, can I see those jars that you were talking about? No, they're down below. Okay, they're outside. down below. All right. Which one of you did it? Me. You. I look at the frogs. Me, 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 me. Easy, easy way. Me, I've, me, I've me, kind me, of built me. up a, a network of communication. He like holds. Here. Up, he holds up the note, just like me. Me, me, me. <laughs> That's right. I I killed their last king, so now I'm their new king. Ah, if that's how it works. And so the idea was that I would send them out to look for you, so we could all get together and you know have a have a little mental powwow and figure out what our next move is. I mean, for all I know, Yeldon's been sunk. Everyone else is gone. So far, Ris, uh, Risp and Strong are the only two I'd found before you guys showed up. Okay. Have you found Nedra yet? Have you we're, found Red? Have you? I think that's who hey, we're Sprung, missing. How are you? <laughs> I could be better. Yeah, me too. We we me and me and a uh, choir boy here woke up bound and taken off to almost be like put on a a spit roast. Well, I'm glad you're safe. Yeah, they there must have been some sort of miscommunication. They brought me like they brought them in like that. I cut them down, made sure it was clear that we were all friends. I pat him on the head again. Sorry, become force of habit. Uh, he bites at your finger. Ah. Okay. He's, he's just kidding. I look around at the frogs. Get all the frogs just like ready their weapons. It's fine. It's fine. It's a joke. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> one, of the, one of the frogs. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Good. Ha <laughs> ha. All of them start clapping. Okay, Ezra, your new friends killed Golfer. I want to know which one. <sighs> oh. Let's go. Let's uh, let's let's go in my uh, throne room real quick. Just uh, you uh, you guys stay out here. Me and uh, me and these guys need to go uh, talk. Go to talk. You stay here. Oh, Your man. knights follow you. The two knights. No, uh, out. Go. Your king commands. <laughs> oh, that eyeball isn't sitting right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was you. Holy shit. Huh. Yeah. Got the mark on that. Wow, golfer. Oh man, that's a. I found him. He was. You, look, you guys walk downstairs in. into the throne room. There's all your gear off in the corner. Oh, yeah, thank God. yeah, we do have we do have all of our stuff. I have found that. And there's a jar with a severed red tail, a bloodied book, and a heart. So none of those three are here. You're telling me that golfer's been killed. You said it He's dead. He's gone, Captain. Okay. They took his I point at the heart. Well. Alright. Well, up and Scrung just like peeps up. I'm just gonna point this out here. One of them little frog boys also told us that uh, when they showed us the tail, they did yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. She, she. I, I'm assuming she has escaped with this being the extent of damage. Which you know, while still bad, she so, got out of there. So she's alive. Good. And Otherwise. we don't know one way or the other about Red. <laughs> I haven't heard anything about her yet. Hell. Why did they harvest the book? It might be they. I mean, you saw them. They're pretty dumb. They probably thought it was part of her body when she dropped it or something. As I check through my pack, make sure that every, all my belongings are Everything's there. there. Okay. Everything's there. And I take speed. my spear from Ezra. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I collect Red's book and stow yours. it away in my pack. All right. Also, Eloy found this magic fruit that makes whatever their oh, yeah, oils you, are. You probably want to eat some of this. Sure, you, give me a piece. You'll be blue, but their, their poison won't work on you. I don't think it'll make me all that sad. I just pop it in my mouth. 
You you boys too. I right, hand a piece to Scrung and to Risk. You get one temporary HP, and you are now nullified for poison for twenty four hours, and you are now bright blue. All right, they might not recognize their king in this shade, but hopefully, I can get through to him, and at least before we seek our revenge, Risk eats it as well. Yeah, I'm the, curious. How the, does this affect him? The tan side of his body turns blue. The rest remains cold. Ah, okay. Paul, if you should probably have some too, and actually, could you take the rest to the ship and and pass it around to everybody? We want to make sure we're prepared. I mean, sure. I I kind of am afraid to go flying again if them <coughs> if the frogs are going to start throwing nets at me again from the floor. Oh, that's a fair point. Oh, they won't be a problem soon. Okay. I mean. You know what this is, right? She like holds up the fruit. I mean, it's the the, it's the cure for their. This is a yigberry. Yeah. This is used in medical research back at the uh, at Zealous. Oh really? This sells for at least ten grand a piece. Oh, well, maybe we'll have to harvest some before we go. These guys were surrounded by gold, and they've decided. I'll to... make sure it goes back to the well, ship. Well, make sure it gets there, and if if my if our crew isn't glowing blue by the time I get back, you'll be. Maybe need to find a new place to sleep, Polyphy. Also, give me that. I take Kevin off her waist. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Kevin? Yeah. Cool. That's Shh. one truth. I know. <laughs> I pat him on the side. <clears throat> Kevin was very helpful. <laughs> yes, I was. There's another truth. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a question, Kevin. No, it's not a question. That was a statement. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Uh, Polyphy will fly off to the other ship to let them know what's going on. And if you see anybody on the way, like, Nedra or Red, just give them some too. Okay. Well, I'm there. You I'm, guys are. Yeah, I'm going to take the. Uh, I, I'm going to dig through my stuff and try to find the ram horn. You, he has it. Okay, yeah. I there know. I don't know that. Oh. <laughs> hey, you. Uh, you looking for something, Wake? Yeah, I'm looking for the ram horn that Calliope gave me. Oh yeah, I tried to blow a note through it. I didn't hear any of you guys respond, so I wasn't sure how it worked. But... I know this thing works. Nedra! Oh, it's a talk. Okay, now I get it. Oops, I accidentally upchucked one of my dice. Sorry about that. Well, that echoes out. You are pretty damn sure this entire archipelago has seen it. By the way, from where you're looking, uh, you could see the whole island. Uh, to the south of where you're standing right now, which is the back of the ship, uh, it's on top of a hill, and you're seeing the ocean on the other side. The, and that's open That's open water. To the other side, you actually see where the Yeldon was crashed, and off in the distance, if you want to roll a perception check. Sure. Nine. Uh, ten. Twenty-one. You see naval ships heading your way. We got, we got naval ships incoming. Damn it. Great. Uh... And with that bellow you just gave out, more than likely they have heard you. Whatever. I'm not their enemy. Yeah. As far as I know. <laughs> all all the, fro the frog... Think Lieutenant Gore? Two of the frogs kind of... The two knights mosey in. They're pointing outside. What? What is it I head out in that direction? They, they actually, like, rummage through one of the uh, crates at the back. Hey! And they give you an emblem of the Navy, the Ledger Main emblem. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's the Navy. We know them. We've, we've dealt with them. It's okay. No, 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 no. No, no, this. No. Ne never again. We don't do that anymore. That's, again, point at that rotting corpse. <laughs> his rules, not mine. You guys look at the top of his crown, and he's wearing a frog head. Look, I had to give into the culture when I got here. Also, his arm's broken as shit as Risp is now just like, um, arm? Oh, yeah, it's been hurting like the devil, but, you know, figured now wasn't really the time to deal with it. He will use a restoration to readjust the bone fragments yeah. in your arm. Yeah. Ah, that helps a lot. Okay. So, anyway, no, we know the Navy. We know the Navy. It's fine. Just leave him alone. Me? Holds up the note. No, don't. We don't have to. They don't need to know that. Not the, not the Navy people. They put the note on their helmets, and they wear it as masks. <laughs> I can save you a lot of time here, Captain. I can just kill all these things. But Whoa, wait, hey, wait, 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 wait. They were just, they were. They were Look. harvesting bodies and killing 
things. I'm sorry, what good are these things? We can figure that out. We can tell them to not do that anymore. They, they don't know any better. They might know the direction Nedra ran in. They're useful for that for now. True enough. Can you get one of them to lead me to where Nedra ran off? Uh, I, I, I go over to the jar with the red tail. This, did you, where, where, where? Man. They they go back upstairs and they drag in the poor boy who wake ate his <laughs> eye and throw him in front. I smile at him. <clears throat> hey hey hey! King wants to know. Did you do this? Pointing at the tail. <laughs> hey, not yet. <laughs> I put my boot on his chest and just like shove him down. Where? Which way? Which way did she go? <laughs> Point my spear at his neck. Point! <laughs> Rolling up. Natural one, he's crying. <laughs> he's on the floor sobbing. He does not fucking know with uh, all this shit happening Rufus. right now. I grab him by the scruff and walk off. You're helping me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I grab him by the one leg he has and drag him off. <laughs> I pull out. You actually watch as one of his legs is slowly growing back. <laughs> I pull out uh, Red's book and show it around. Where did this come from? They all point to the poor guy Wake's carrying away. <laughs> Were you just in charge of the harvesting, Rufus? You didn't tell me this was part of your job. <laughs> okay, if Red and Nedra are together, they might be okay. I mean, I look at the tail. Relatively. Go team Redra. <laughs> 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 All right, fellas. Red, kind of, like wrist, kind of like looks at the tail. If this was a piece that fell off, if we find her fast enough, I might be able to put it back on. That's That'd be the great. goal. I'm just dragging this poor son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look at wrist. Can you do that with hearts? It's hard. I can't bring back life. I'm not that right. powerful. Just the only people I've ever heard who can ever bring someone back from the dead are those from the Navy, and that's only a select few. That's necromancy. If I was found causing necromancy, I'd be more than just a privateer. I'd be a pirate. I'd be a wanted criminal. Understood. I won't, I won't ask of it again. Just wanted to make sure before I gave up on an easy solution to a... Well, you said the Navy can do it. An issue. Yes. And the Navy is on its way. Get that heart to Gulfer. Who's who are you saying that to? I don't know. I'm just saying it as I'm dragging this poor <laughs> son of a bitch just off. Like the ground, the I, as, as like he's hitting rocks on the way. <laughs> Get it to go. Well, where is he? He's at the Yeldon at the coast. Oh, well then, yeah. Where's the, like? There's Risp and Scrung look to each other. They both say at the same time, "Where's that?" <laughs> I have a great sense of direction. I point exactly where. <laughs> Survival. Uh, Wanderer, excellent memory for maps and geography. I'm going to roll with advantage for these boys. Oh, yeah. Risp is fine. Scrung got an at 20. They're going in there. All right, cool. <laughs> They're fine. But they, they both, like, Scrung looks at one of the uh, knights who is, like, has the thing with the piece of paper on his mask as a mask. Yeah, hold, hold that to make sure that they know that you're one of us. He looks at, he looks at the piece of paper. Fucking penmanship is horrible. What? I'm a, I'm a, I don't write a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Spend a lot of time on a boat. All right, so we're off to look for Redra. Yeah, and I, I go with them, showing how important this thing is to the rest of the frogs. Well, Means a, you're a, fucking a bunch frog a, entourage a platoon is showing. of them, like ten of them, are coming with you as your guard. Look at worst case scenario, they're meat shields. Mm hmm. Worst, worst kiss in their food. He holds up the tail. He like no. rubs his fingers together, like saying, How much are we getting for this? Nothing. No. We're, 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 we're stopping this whole trade thing now. This isn't, this isn't what you do anymore. We're going to find a nice, honest living for you guys to make. Maybe we look, I point up. Roll persuasion. <laughs> So why am I getting all the bad rolls? Eleven. They all stop in their track when you say that. 
So you guys, you guys have, there's apparently some really valuable fruit in these trees. If we're gonna do anything, we're gonna do that. You could, we could farm this land and grow those and harvest them and have, sell, sell them and, like, they're medical, they're good, you could help people. I think you're losing this one, Captain. One of the frogs licks his eye with his tongue. Hey, I'm the king! I point, I point at the crowd. Two of them start whispering to each other. Well, oh, hey, hey, hey! No, de no dissent in the king's court. <laughs> if you, if you say something, if you got something to say, you got enough to say to all of us. Me, 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 me. I'm just saying, you can always set an example. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> me, 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 me. Uh, I think you meant meh, 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 points to Rufus the one-eyed frog. <laughs> meh. <laughs> meh? Eh? <laughs> All of them take their spears and gang up and kill him. <laughs> whoa, 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 <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> meh, 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 meh. Puts Rufus's head on his head. Meh, 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 meh. All right, now you're and everyone else. I, st meh, I stab meh, the meh. fuck out of him. <laughs> I impale this dude. Roll the hit through the neck, if at all possible. <laughs> Twenty-two to hit. You sever his head clean Shink. off. I hold it up. Meh, 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 meh. And point out to the forest. <laughs> Me? Meh. Meh, 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 to the woods. <laughs> <laughs> they march in. I just we set got some that. frog Highlander shit going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I just set the heads at the end of the spear. <sighs> <laughs> well, you know what? I thought King Ezra could bring culture to these uncivilized savages, but it looks like it's just going to be a... Uh, Point and kill whoever we mumble at. Some sort of nightmare on this damn island. Let's find Nedra and get the hell out of here. Yep. <laughs> Just continue walking. I guess I don't need to carry the corpse. <laughs> there is no corpse. It was ripped to shreds. Well, I had a leg left. <laughs> we might get hungry. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But now I have two jolly frog heads. <laughs> All right, so you follow them in. Three eyes they lead, they lead you back over towards the clearing. <laughs> They're pointing over in the direction where they la like where you guys last hid. Hey. Nedra, Mr. Strangletree. Hey, man. Whoa! No, you don't <laughs> see it. You don't see it either. Strangletree? That's a terrifying name. What are you talking about? Have you seen? Have you seen a big? Big red devil lady and a smaller red human lady. Jeez, man, that sounds scary. Yeah, they're, no, they're nice. What's are, he are, doing? You, are you sure? I mean, he's talking to the strangle tree. He's cool. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, King of the Frogs. This is the strangest thing you've had today. <laughs> this day just keeps getting weirder. <clears throat> oh wait! I think I think your friend here is that they can't hear me. Hold on, maybe I should make myself like known. Hold on a second. As this light green skinned humanoid with elf ears, kind of just like he's like all fuzzy. He kind of like looks like he has mutton chops that grow down at least to his like the the brace of his neck. He's wearing uh, a tunic, uh, a very very nicely fine tunic, like almost like. He was a. Uh, it was like a. Uh, I apologize. It's a. It's a nobleman's tunic, actually. Hmm. And he's wearing a nice little suit, and he comes out with a cane that is wrapped around that almost looks like a strangle tree. Uh, out. Uh, looks like a strangle tree cane. Does he look at all like Gloriosa did when we met her? No. Okay, different creature. Yep. He looks more like an elf than he does. Uh, than he does what Gloriosa was. Okay, hey. that's neat. Oh, hey, how's it going? My name's a strangle tree. Nice to meet you all. Just the Strangle Tree? That's your name? Yeah, I mean that—that's what the—that's what me. We're all—all all the druids had names of all the creatures, and they called me Strangle Tree. Oh, well, I can walk between trees. That's how, cool. How long have you know what? That's not important. Have you seen our red love, uh, red devil friend, at all? I mean, 
Yeah, she she and the other the other crate the other lady were scared off. The big red one lugged away the the human up in the trees. They found like one of the old huts that my my people used to live in. Oh, well that that should be easy to find. Hopefully they feel like they've found safe shelter and just haven't moved. I mean, too far you all disturb the trees so much. The the navy's now coming. They they used to be the ones who have to harvest all the egg berries. Oh, He's, the navy harvest though. How do you feel about that? Not great. I oh. mean, it's, you're, you're taking you're taking something that the trees gave out, like something that I made, and then you just take it and you you claim it for yourselves, and then it's it's just not right, man. I agree. Mm-hmm. I, Capitalism's terrible. But first, I we mean, really you, I mean, you you asked, you had the decency to ask. I, I was about to say, like, thank you. I I did not realize fully how generous you were being, but just I like appreciate these, it. Just like these frogs, they take things that they, they take things without asking. Oh no, they were here first. They 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 were here this whole time. They actually planted me. So the, we have like a little symbiotic relationship thing. Whatever they do, we don't mind. Like anything that came from this island first, we have no problems with. They I'm, respect I'm just, us. I'm just throwing out there, like you know, you grow the fruit and people don't ask and you take it. That's upsetting. You know, these guys they take hearts. Lungs, and that's also very upsetting to people that might want those to live. Yeah, I can see why that'd be a reason. Exactly. But right. that's not my problem. Yeah, true enough. Fair enough. So we're just looking for our friends. My problem is, is that every time that they kept stealing yake berries from me, most of my friends died. That would explain well, all the empty houses. Well, there was more of me before. I mean, there's trees all around. Yeah, I can walk in between them. As long as I'm the last one here. I can walk in between all the trees and uh, live a long day. But unfortunately, since everyone kept stealing them yig berries, <laughs> they've just been killing off me mates. And that was the Navy that did that? Yep. So were your mates defending the yig berries? Or were the, like, was the no, act of taking no, them no, just killing no. them? No, we, we, we weren't sure if we can communicate with them. We tried. They set me on fire. It wasn't a nice day. But no, then the frogs showed up, and they, they weren't liking that all their houses were getting burned down. No, so they just started taking them out. The Navy took my family, too. Hey, question. This blue stuff, how long does that last? Oh, about a day. All right. From that, that big yellow thing up there in the sky, when it turns into the big white thing, and then back to the big red thing again, I'm sure you'll, like, you'll turn back to normal. Did I get a good sense of how far out the Navy ships are? How long it'll take them to get here? They probably are there at this point. They're at the Yeldon. All right. Well, let me tell you what. All we really <coughs> want... Like, thank you again for the yig berries. That helped me not get paralyzed and die. But we're not really here for them. We just want to collect our friends and leave. And I mean, that's that's fair. That's noble. I can t- I can still understand that. All right. So so how's this then? If you help us find our friends, we'll try and convince those navy folks to leave you alone. I mean, you do that for me, mate. Yeah, I mean, we didn't... You saved me. Yeah, you, you've been nothing but nice to us. We I've only just met you, but you seem awfully kind. Aw, oh, shucks. Yeah. All right, well, just just give me a second. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Don't mind the screams, though. I'll be right back. Kind of just, like, walks back into the tree. You know what a nice Master guy. Jeb used no, to No, he's, he's stuck there. He's still there. Hold on. I figured it out. I'll get in there. Shoving himself into the tree slowly. Yep. <laughs> and he's there. Well, wow. and the tree turns around to make the step ladder. What a nice guy. <clears throat> hey, you know, Elder Jeb used to be able to do that walking in trees thing, but he didn't seem to like live in there all the time. It was just a special occasions thing. Hmm. This guy seems way better at it. I mean, he's probably real comfortable at it. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, probably kept them safe. Do you want to roll an insight check to see what kind of uh, a history check to see what kind of creature he was? Sure. Wake isn't that interested. Got a nine, six. No fucking idea. (laughs) He's just a really furry elf, strange tree man. Wake's gonna climb the tree to get up to where he said Nedra and Red were. Athletics check. Uh, Athletics is a twenty-three. All right. Yeah, you get up there just fine. You see the catwalk. Nedra, Red, are you okay? Yeah, mate, just just keep going down that way. You'll find him sooner or later. I figured they'd answer me at some point, but it's... You're seeing blood, uh, trips of uh, blood go into the woods from the catwalk. All right, now I'm running. I'm going to climb up after him. Uh, 14 on an athletics check. They, uh, they get, uh, you get up there just fine. All right. Ezra, don't roll. 
Your frog boys grab you from underneath and just usher you up. Thank you, my friend. Hey, I'm the king. <laughs> <laughs> You're a king. Man, yeah. man, man, man. I have, Fair enough. I have like five skulls. You got like the duke. one. I got two. <laughs> like yeah, duke or a count? He, 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 he like looks at his web fingers. One of the, one of the knights looks at his web fingers. He only has four fingers. Doesn't matter to me. Web. I'm way ahead anyway. <laughs> man. Me. That's right. As the as the as the higher crown, I am the one who gets the the better service. Thank the chariot. You. The Chariot of Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you head in. Uh, you're seeing a lot of withered plants up in the canopy. Uh, a lot of the trees are actually within the strangle tree. Uh, a lot of the houses are within the strangle trees, and a lot of them look dilapidated. Uh, they look like they're kind of like molded and aged with time, like they're shriveled up. Uh, one of the houses looks like it's still operation. It looks like it's still up. Yeah, that that's me. I live there. Oh, that's nice. that's where they probably hold themselves up. No other way they can get inside the other ones. All right. Well, m- mind if I enter your home? Yeah. Go ahead, man. All right. Cool. Just, Just get them out, please. I uh, open the door. You uh you open the door. You walk inside. There, inside it looks like a nice little like study. Like it looks like there's actual like there's a bookshelf with a bunch of like old naval uh, sc- manuscripts. There's a small desk with a bunch of different, like, random bottles of different things. There's also, like, a couple of ships in bottles. One of them is of a Vorpal, and one of them is of... It looks like Mead Ship. Hmm. And one of them looks like the Yeldon. You said this was your house? Yeah, man. Inside, uh, over at the bed, there's uh, Red, who looks like she's out cold, and she has a big, bloody stain off the, around the, off the uh, side of her waist. And there's Nedra kind of, like, sitting, like, against the wall asleep. All right. I am going to... Her tail is severed. Yes. Uh, I am going to uh, give each of them a healing potion. Like, well, you, gonna... you go up to them, and Nedra takes a swing at you. Not frogs! Easy, easy. It's okay. Most of them are dead. I, ta- I tap the spear. Here. Have a sip of this. I hand her a healing potion. Frog! No, I'm not a frog. I'm not a frog. I'm just wearing this helmet. Don't wear this crown. Don't worry. The frog sounds like Ezra. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a frog. Everything's fine. It's, it's all right. They think he's their king. You're the king of the frogs? I am right now. That's so silly, but cool. It is really silly. And Can you rib it like the rest of them? Can oh, you? Only for you, Nedra. <laughs> <clears throat> Ribbit. You say, what about me mom, mate? But no, that, I'm just trying to... Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything. I just, no, it's all right. You gotta, you gotta say it a little bit better. You gotta really, like, put the cadence into the middle rib. Ribbit. Oh, there you go. Now that's saying hello. Thank you. Ribbit. While this is going on, I'm going to attempt to pour some healing potion down Red's throat. She wakes up. You you pour it down. You, uh, you give her a healing potion... Uh, Red, I mean, uh, uh, Nedra is fine. She's, she looks okay. She took, she, she lost a bit of her tail, but beyond that, she looks like she's fit as a fiddle. Uh, Red, on the other hand, you hear ribs cracking as the healing potion goes down her throat. And you hear, like, you hear cracking and, like, this weird, like, odd sense, like, the sound of, like, sinew coming back together. (laughs) And That's she, like, right. wakes up and looks over at you. You yeah, okay? I won't say I am now, but thank you. Eloy's got your book. <sighs> okay, that makes me feel a lot better. She, like, leans up. Did you... What's going... What What happened? Last, last I remember, there was this big frog. Well, most of them are... Well, not most of them, but a lot of them are dead now. And a the few rest, of them. And the rest serve King Ezra. That's right. She, like grabs the book back from you. Yeah, hand it over. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was before I was announced king that they did all of this annoying harvesting stuff. Harvesting? <sighs> what? I don't. I've never heard of these creatures before. What's going on? They killed Gulfer. Well, technically speaking, that one killed Gulfer, and I point to the head on the spear. The one with the one eye. I ate the other one. What's kill? Nedra says. It's, uh, it's what you do when you make something stop living. And that happened to Mr. Golfer? 
Yeah. Oh. Huh. Man, this is awkward. It is. We're, we're gonna. On, we, we gotta get you back to the Yeldon. Though, yeah, Nedra. we want to get you back. Make sure everyone's yeah. okay, and then we're gonna Wrist get off will this be island. there, and he can reattach your tail for you. Oh, cool. I. It's kind of hard to walk without it, actually. Yeah, I bet. Do you need a walking stick or anything? No, I'm sure I'm fine. <laughs> Here, hold my. I'm fine. I'm fine. She gets back up. Yeah, hold my staff, Nedra. You can use it to walk with. Okay. She like looks at the frog's head that you have on the staff. Don't eat them. They taste bad. <laughs> ah, yeah, that works too. <laughs> she like rips it apart. You, you <sighs> saw, like, everyone saw this and everyone gets this little shake of like <laughs> dread Whoa. in their stomach. Everyone roll a wisdom save. Uh, modified 20. 15. Natural wonders. Hey. Eloy. You could have sworn there was a whole other entity that took Nedra's place for a hot second. Something evil, something negative, something that shouldn't be pulled forth from her emotions the moment she looked at that frog. Did 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 anyone else Nedra what? You you you're trying to internally say this out loud. Mum's the word, you can't speak. That fear is over you like crazy. You are dead set afraid of Nedra at this point. Come on, let's go get that tail reattached. I kind of put my arm around, like, just kind of pat her on the shoulder. Okay, I'm okay. She, but she's still processing death of go the death of Gopher. Hey, man, so, like, you lot gonna be all right. You're gonna head back over. You're gonna, I mean, I, I can see the Navy. They're coming this way. Well, what's what's on about that? We're, We're going to regroup down at our ship and talk to the Navy over there. We just need to get everybody together. All right, man. Well, like I said, as part of the deal, please try to tell them not to not to take any more Yigberries because, you know, I'll die, and I'm quite be honest with you. Since I'm the only one left, I'll probably fight back. I understand. Uh, real quick, before I leave, though, I, I point at, like, the bottles in the – or the ships in the bottles. Do those belong to you? Oh no, man! I made them. You made them? Yeah, man. It's I, a very impressive. I, I took a piece of uh, all the ships that shipwreck here. I've taken a piece of them. That's amazing. It looks astounding. Your your craftsmanship is remarkable. It's oh, thanks. You you know you, you kind of have years of like every time you can just grow a piece of yourself. And I've been I've just been taking up whittling. Huh. Well, all right. I thought those might have belonged to the navy, and I was going to present them as a gift to maybe help your to help your case. Well, I mean, but, if that's what you think can happen, I don't see why not. Again, you have the you have the mind to ask. Sure, maybe like this might just you know if I lend to if you take that last fruit, it'll kill this tree. They might not understand that, but if I say this tree could also create these, you know, it's it's a living being that is you know has an artistic side. Maybe maybe that will lend some sort of humanity to it to you know. Well, I mean, push you know, our it's case. Kind of a little too late. They kind of had to get the frogs involved. That's true. Well, we'll see. Uh, you know what? Keep your bottles. I, I, I would feel you've lost enough. Appreciate that, man. Hey, you know what? As a parting gift, gives the three. He gives everyone who's in this room, so the five of you all get a Yigberry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, just asking sometimes is really nice. Because now I have an idea. I'll store this away. All right, well, off you go. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> right. Take I, your frogs with you. Yeah, I, I help uh, Nedra and Red down the tree if they need it. Red's fine. She's a little disoriented, but she's fine. Uh, she's hobbling because she has, like, she had a low pool of HP, but she's still alive. Right. Red, uh, Nedra can get down with some assistance, but... For the most part, you guys make your way back. Uh, you actually, uh, you make it back to the ship. There's the the Vorpal that's actually trying to push the uh, Yeldon with some straps to try and get it back onto the ocean. There's a familiar face actually is sitting there talking to Grammy, Pliskin, and uh, Onslow. Ave Lo turns and looks to the lot of you. Wow. Well, hello there. 
How, how have you been, Ave? Mm. Could be better. I've We had reports that were some shipwreck. Uh, there was a couple of shipwrecks somewhere near close to right ever since the giant stormed by. Yeah, we uh, we saw him. Got and a little bit too close for comfort. And to my surprise, I find that your ship was the one that was capsized. I feared the worst, so we decided to come on over. Oh, I'm glad you... Uh, thanks for the concern, but I... Uh, your concern is well warranted. Do why we are you wearing your... a frog head? We had a little bit of an altercation with the locals. And... Easy. We we I I like push his spear down. No, not anymore. No, me. Friends, good. Pal. <laughs> <laughs> I just look over. I'm their king now. Right. Well. We decided to check the archipelagos to see if anyone was capsized, and we found your ship. We'd like to assist you in getting you back to right, maybe get your ship fixed up. Though, we do have a small problem that needs to be taken care of, but you're welcome to use our vessel while we find a solution to our small problem before we head over to right proper. Well, what's the issue? Maybe we can help while we're here. In the wake of the giant... There is now a large stone face coming out of the ocean. We have no idea what it is, and it's blocking our route to right. We are we are effectively trapped in this small part of the ocean. Wake remembers before Golfer passed out. His actual last words were, there's a face in the sky made of rock. Hmm. And you said it's it's following the the storm giant. After the storm after the storm giant walked past, it just appeared out of nowhere. It rose out of the ocean and is blocking our way out. We're trying to keep civilians out as much as possible. There are a few small villages that live around here. There are a few vessels that have been trapped as well. So there are some naval men who are trying to figure out this dilemma. Hmm. Until then, you're welcome to stay on my vessel until we help get you out. Speak. But for the most, for for the time being, we're stuck inside this small little part of the island. Speaking of your vessel, does anybody on your crew know how to bring back the dead? She raises an eyebrow at you. That's a very dangerous territory, you ask of me. That's something even I can't do. It's something you might not be able to do, but maybe you know someone who can. I hold out a, I hold out Golfer's heart. One of our crew was killed by one of these things. I look Meep. over at the frogs. Meep. <laughs> there is not much stopping me <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> Just give him a little shush. The only Ave, solace I, I have is that I've probably killed the one that did it already. Yes, you've gotten the revenge that we needed. Wait a moment. She looks over at you and looks at the the frog on your head. Yes. She snaps her finger and one of the guards runs in. Uh, one of the uh, naval officers runs back onto the ship, comes back out with a small uh, handful of scrolls, hands one to you. It's a wanted poster for that exact frog. Oh, well. I gotta just try and slide it off the top of the crown while not removing the whole thing. I got him. Indeed. She looks at the paper and like scrolls it back down. You'll be rewarded for your efforts. Excellent. Congratulations on taking down one of the local black market farmers. Yeah, we've uh, we've noticed. That's what our friend fell victim to. In lieu of an award, I was wondering if we could ask a favor. To try and get you to find someone to revive him. No, it's un it's us kind of repaying another favor. And what would this favor be? There is a man who lives on this island who uh, his very life depends on the fruit that your people come in and take. Fruit? I hold out one of the egg berries. Oh my, where did you receive that? From the man. There's someone left here. Ever yes. since, ever since the black market seemed to be a, th uh, ever since the harvesting organs issue came to pass, that happened at least a hundred years ago. 
Well, I mean, the Navy was pretty I good. I, I remember there used to be trade routes here, but then they stopped because of it. Well, the Navy's always been pretty good at genocides, he says under his mouth, uh, under his breath. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. All right, roll uh, stealth. Uh, stealth check, modified 20. She doesn't catch that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wake's feeling very passive aggressive right now. <laughs> anyway, <Gee willikers>. yeah, <laughs> and just a just a might aggressive. <laughs> yeah, a might. If I was real aggressive, <laughs> look, I would be real aggressive if this weren't a naval person we had dealt with and it proved <laughs> herself to be pretty decent. Uh, so, basically, Wake's just all right. Um, yeah, if at all possible, I know your, I guess, medicine and medical team likes to experiment with these. Is that correct? We've tried, we've, we thought this berry was extinct. We've actually tried to find ways to harvest and to farm it. Well, this is the place where they grow, and you know that now. I'm guessing there is no way you're not going to report that to your, to your superiors. Of course not. This could cure all kinds of magical elements. Then my one request is that if you do want to harvest this from this island, that you get the being's permission. And what is this being you speak of? His name is Strangle Root. Strangle. Strangle, Strangle Tree. tree. Strangle Tree. There you His go. name is Strangle Tree. He's a druid. Okay, that makes sense because I was about to point out to the fact that this entire island is nothing but Strangle Trees. Yes, that that is him. These are him. The entire island is him. Kind of. Whenever, whenever he wants it to be. Bloody druids. Very well. I suppose we'll get a druid. Uh, we'll get a pact of druids down here to at least negotiate with the creature. Thank you for your word. If you don't mind, would you actually grant me permission to have one? I hand mine over. Excellent. Thank you. As a sh <laughs> uh, as a sign of goodwill and. Oh no! This will be, this will be reported in in. Uh, this will be very well reported when it comes time for you all to get over to South Zealous. We've been told of what you wish to do. No. Oh. By Good. Lieutenant Gore, of all people. How do you stand that man? St stand him? Well. He's the greatest. He's the loudest person I've ever heard. I know, it's great. That big booming voice going through my whole head. Mm. It makes my soul shatter. It's like music. I can imagine. It's a bit of an acquired taste, that guy. Well, as, uh, well, as Gore has told me, you all wish to go to South Zealous. We would be honored to escort you there if we could just figure out how, if we could just, if you'll allot us time to figure out what this giant face is that just came up out of the ocean out of nowhere. No, that sounds horrifying and uh, perhaps a little bit out of our pay grade. So if you guys want to put your, you know, put your minds to it. Oh, trust me, with what you've been through, I'm sure you're, with what we've been through throughout this entire time we've known each other, your pay grade is quite high. It is, but scary giant, you know, first storm giants, then stone giant faces out of the water. I had a bit of a giant fatigue if uh You may be given rest, mind. but I do insist that you would help us out in this endeavor. Oh, we'll we try will to reward help, you. We'll gladly try to help. I'm just saying. Excellent. She pats you Biggest. on the she pats you on the cheek. Thank Take you. that off before coming on my ship. Don't worry, I have an idea for it. They're not coming along. Oh, they're not. If they do, they will give. Uh, if they do, they will be either arrested or executed. Ah, so they are coming along. <laughs> no, I have a better idea, and what feels like a much more fitting idea. Oh, something, fine. something I've been mulling over for the last Secret little bit. Secret ingredient. Not quite. <laughs> that said, I, I, I toss, I I toss say, with a leg. I was gonna say that said. <laughs> frog's legs. <laughs> yeah. For a second, I thought she was paralyzed when she grabbed it. So she grab, she grabs it. And sinks into the sand. <laughs> well, before See a druid do that. Before we figure this out, you're right. Man, I, that's fucking crazy. Right? I <laughs> say, <laughs> looking over at the tree. <laughs> before we do Ave that. looks to you. Who are you talking to? Nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I go into the woods basically after this conversation, and, unless something else is going to. No, no, no. Okay. No. So uh, pretty much what you're doing is going to be the last thing we do before we end the session. Okay, yeah, because there was something I did want to do before we left. Uh, I go back into the woods and basically. Uh, Strangle Tree, can I talk to you real quick? Hello? Hey, man. Right next to you. So I've been thinking, and I realized something. I take off the crown. You should have this. 
Me. If these frogs should be listening to anyone, it's you. If I've seen anyone on this island who seems to have a good sense of judgment, and that I trust, it's you. I can't stay here and lead them. I don't think they deserve to all die for the foolishness of, you know, their leaders. I think you should tell them what to do. Huh. Roll persuasion. <laughs> 24. Well, with a nat one, he accepts completely. <laughs> I like how his failure is accepting this thing no, that's going to be good. No, he can't, he can't incite that shit. He was <laughs> if he was okay. So if he was going to say that, he's going to be like, well, he wasn't quite sure because he he was still kind of like in his ways of of his of his druid brothers and sisters mm -hmm. as to be like. It's not our job to lead others in the forest. We have to let the forest do things naturally. But with this nat one, well, since I am the last of my kind, I guess it would be nice to at least have some company. There you go. Is there, Do you believe there's some way I should be leading them? I think your, your peaceful route of, of non-intervention and harming each other, I think I, I like that. So just do what I've been doing then. Do what you've been doing. Maybe see if you can teach them how to grow these 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 egg berries. These egg berries can do a lot of good for a lot of people, but I don't want them to come at the cost of your life. So if you can find a way, use whatever resources they have available. Stop harvesting organs and things from people, and uh, I think we can be good. Yeah, man, that sounds pretty good. If there's a thriving society here, I feel like the navy will be less likely to you know come in, be invasive, and uh, murder and kill for berries. I not like saying that. it's impossible, but you'll like also stand a better chance in case that happens. I like that, mate. Thank you. You're very welcome. I never got your name, by the way. I'm Captain Ezra. Ezra Lockwood of the Natural Wonders. The crew you see before you. Strike and pose. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm ushering Nedra over to risk. And, there, there, <laughs> and there's... there's uh, We look a bit ramshackle there's, there's right now, but... There's Polifee, who is there, too. She's just like... She, like, looks left and right. Does the Raccoon Sentai pose. <laughs> <laughs> Natural Wonders. <laughs> Except for her, she's not really part of the crew. She's just sort of traveling with us. Hey! And <laughs> she she paid for. She, like, safe she looks passage. at you and gives you a seagull like walk. Like <laughs> another satisfied customer. <laughs> but I wanted to present this to you. You were a great help to us, and you uh, you had faith in us, and I want to show that I have faith in you. So here you go. Hi, right, man. Well, you just like hold hold on a second. <laughs> Pops back out again in the suit. <laughs> Man, this is sticky. <laughs> if, Avilo, if Avilo is around, I just point to him and say, he's the king of this island. <laughs> just walk away. If you Hi have there. any negotiations, they need to be done with him. Hey, man, my name's Strangletree. <laughs> right. We'll be in touch. She just turns around <laughs> not having this nonsense, and that's where we'll stop. Boom. Ah. Congratulations, you just made this fucking amazing timeline out of doing <laughs> this. <laughs> This will have not consequences, but this will have positive repercussions. This will have positive repercussions in the future. The world will remember this. Yes. <laughs> well done, Ezra. Well done. Yay! And another thing I'd like to say, well done to is some of the amazing fan art we've been sending. <gasps> yes. How's that for a segue? Uh, and don't forget, after this, we are doing a Q and A yep. yes. on the Discord. Yeah. So let me pop open my tweetar. And I will let Jesse know with a whole huggy bunch of gestures when it is time to cut it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, number one on the list here. You got a lovely yeah. little Eloy. <laughs> let me. Oh, hold on. This thing got out of order for some reason. Uh -oh. This is weird. Yeah, I've I've been seeing a lot of this one because that's on a that's on a a, a longish thread that I'm tagged in on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got a little uh. Little farmer with shotgun slash Eloy fusion dance going on here. <laughs> yeah, Hi, some... you big dummy. <laughs> Genius, Eloy. That'll Genius. get him. <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, it's not giving me like the timeline of tweets like, that it should be. Like uh -oh. the artist. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, it should be like the se like it should be like the second one down on this list, but it's not. Right. Uh oh. This is weird. It's one spot. Yeah. It's from at letter D zero zero four. At letter D zero zero four. Thank you so much for the art, and sorry that Twitter decided to redo itself again, I guess. I don't know. Sorry. I think I'm looking at it right here. Yeah, thank you, Brian. All right. All right. Well, let's see. Let's hopefully number two lines up somewhere. Whoop. Is this aligned right? 
Yes, found it. Uh, this is by Noble Brony four four five. Here we have Team Surf and Turf. Woo! Ready for battle, and soon. And cool. I, I'm guessing by the, you know getting her to risk, we got her tail reattached. Hopefully, I'm guessing. I don't know. We got her back and her tail, so hopefully that's working out. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, her design isn't the same without the tail. <laughs> Thank you so much, Noble Brony four four five. I will say one more thing. Like I see the chat kind of going up against one thing. After we're done with the fan art, I will say one thing, and then we can cut it. All right, okay. cool. Sorry about that. Uh, next up, by Slime Glob, we have a young Yo! Lieutenant Gore. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's like this. This is a young naval man, dragon man. <laughs> man, the size of a continent gets you a man who could be both. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I was hoping for. I was mm-hmm. like, get, get Gore down here. He's big enough. He can probably pick up this nah, big man, scary Nah, man. Ave Lowe's got fucking like, portrait arch. He needs to be important again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is by, again, Slime Glob. And commissions are open. Thank you so much, Slime Glob. So Next up, by Scandranon01, we have Wake and Nedra training with some grappling. Hey. People have always asked, you know, like, uh, like how, how, do you, how do you... Gra- yeah, how do you grapple somebody who, like... Who has a higher strength than you? You use Dex, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. There you go. Yep. Yep. Tap or nap? That is the quote. I can't I breathe. Go with it. Yep. <laughs> and this is how you take somebody down. You just kind of wrap your knee around their windpipe and they can't move. Uh, oh, <laughs> why did I let this happen? <laughs> <laughs> this is why you train. <laughs> Thank you, Scandran and Zero One. Does that mean you're a liar? <laughs> <laughs> Next up. Oh! We have a chubby little Ooh. it chubby by boy. Kuro Yushin. It's okay. He could just make it disappear. Yeah, I just need more honey. Wait, where does that? Where does the? Where does the honey go? It. Yeah. It goes. It goes back into the ether. You tell no one. The world is made of honey. <laughs> I'm guessing in one of the boxes we found, we found it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, that's why I'm saying ah, it. Okay. At, the, at, at the end of this, it's just like, you know, like how there's like a little like five minutes. Yo, five after after section. the credits. Gotcha. Yeah, after credits bit. That's after this. All it's right. Bumper. Next up by Beta Wolf. Oh, oh, he has some like little wonders. Oh, the very Mario looking boys. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Sticker Star Wake. <laughs> No worries. I love, yeah, no I love Ezra's little uh, little toad grin. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello! Wake's got that like one protruding tooth. <laughs> hey everyone, it's me! I'm, I'm, just, I'm the Toad King! Elo's just so happy with his bagpipes. <laughs> I love that his pa- like he has just giant centaur pants. I love I love that he has okay, so run with me on this. He has the Peter Griffin top shirt and then the belt, but where are the pants for the no, belt? No, they he has pants. If you zoom in, those are slacks. Those are big old slacks. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> he just has four legged pants. Next up by KBKAC Chan. Kabaka Chan. Hey. Yeah, we have uh, sa- <laughs> we have insurance salesman Wake. That is a fantastic style. Yeah, sal- say, yeah, salary is- man Wake. I love I love the shininess. This is Wake in a slice of life anime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, what do I have to do to get you to drive home in one of these babies today? <laughs> He's in his apartment. It's a it's a whale shark. <laughs> Listen to that baby purr. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Kabaka Chan. A.K.A. David the Hobo. Strong name. Mm-hmm. Strong name. Strong, strong features. Next up, I think this one's going to do a little bit of scrolling, but yes! we have yes! a little piece yes! of last week's action by cool. Caitlin C37, whose commissions are open again, by the way. Oh. Yeah, I didn't. I was unable to tune in for this, but Zito, what are the names of these uh, gentlemen from left to right? Uh, from left to right, that is. John. Yep. John. His name was kept a secret. Okay. <laughs> Brundle. Brundle. And William Smith. Willie Smith. Is it me? That's his actum name. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> These kobold boys going on an adventure. Going on an adventure into the woods to, to save their job of working at a really crappy restaurant. Thank God yeah. they did this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's a that's a way to put it. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you so much, Caitlin. Next up by Nikki T Square, we have Bunny Red, oh, who's still alive. Hey. Yep, she's still alive. Yowza. Hey, guys, listen. Nat one on the <laughs> no, roll die. I happens. can't. Hey. I don't know what to tell you. Shit I'm, has to happen sometimes. No, I'm and, not. Here's, and here's the thing. 
Cruz can get replaced. I know. It's true. I'm, I'm not blaming him. We yet. can also keep attempting to revive him until the corpse rots. Right. We can fill his job. We can never replace him. <gasps> we need to go back to that other island, grab the chest that keep things fresh. <laughs> Ooh. That's right. We forgot to bring that. I never stopped to grab it. All right. And Next unfortunately, up. Unfortunately, you have no idea where you are because of the storm giant. By lie on a roll. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there wow. he is. Slowly lumbering towards the Yeldon. Thank you so much. Lie on a roll. This charcoal horrific. Like, he's got that Dumple Stiltskin Ric Flair dad body going. <laughs> I was going to say. His, his entire his, stomach. Uh, okay. His chest. That looks like eyebrows, and then his gut, where just, his belly button is, is a mouth. I was just going to say, his pecs and belly button just make me think of like, <laughs> just a sad mouth Ooh. coming up. I, You know what? In some weird little way, I'd like to make that cannon, but I know that's not <laughs> what's going to happen. Either way, a sight you don't really want to see coming towards your ship no on a not. stormy, stormy night. Thank you kindly. Lie on a roll. Next. Oop. <laughs> we have this piece by Marvel Poison, this adorable Nedra and It. I absolutely love this style. Thank you so much, Marvel Poison. Very cute. Adorable. And next up, I think this is the last one, <laughs> by All for One, Ezra's Really Rough Day. Yep, no, that's <laughs> part two. Pretty perfect. That's great. <laughs> Stop stealing! <laughs> oh my god! We're not pirates, we're privateers! <laughs> we only do that when we're not worried about any sort of repercussions, come or on! Or if we really don't like the people. <laughs> yep. I guess that's what I mean by repercussions. We rob from people who we don't mind pissing off. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Alicia, for this wonderful, wonderful, stressed out Ezra. He needs, looks like he needs a nap. Hey, man, he becomes a king. What does All he have to get stressed about? All right, let's, <laughs> cut, <laughs> let's cut back for our after credit sequence. <gasps> we, now, we now have the camera looking over the corpse of Gopher. Oh. Okay. As you guys are... Now, finally come to peace. Everyone has said their kind goodbyes and nice words. Even Grammy had something nice to say. Eh. Wake actually isn't ready to say goodbye. <laughs> well, say your piece before but I have this scene happen then. Go for uh -huh. it. Well, no, I need... You need, you, you, oh, have anything? you need to be leaving in order for me to do this. <laughs> oh, sorry. oh, no, no, no. I meant like Wake isn't ready to say goodbye to Golfer. Oh, like, okay. He's just, he's just oh, metaphorically. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... Everyone is getting ready to board Ave's ship as they're still trying to get the Yeldon back onto the ocean. The roots begin to wiggle. They wiggle a little bit more. And then out from in between two of the entangled roots, Yit kind of crawls out. At least I have one soul. And that's where we'll stop. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Lord help me. Okay, well, it might be horrible and terrifying. <laughs> I'm going to go grab my laptop so we can answer some questions. Sounds like a good idea. But for those of you watching the archive, we'll see you guys next time at the table.